game show on the internet where you, the audience, gets to decide our fates. Welcome to our weekly show, Eberron Raiders of the Uncharted Tomb. This is our uh, ongoing stream. Welcome if you're here from 24 Hour, or from Barbie, or from Fandover One Shot. All the amazing one shots, check them out if you haven't. Uh, Jack, do we have any announcements? Do we have any announcements? We have some special guests. We do have, we special, have guests. some special guests, special guests in the audience special tonight. Special please, please. Some please. of our patrons are here. Yes. Uh, the parents yes. of yes. Macy Atkinson. Yes. Please welcome them to the stream. Amazing. <laughs> you got it. You got yeah. it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. 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 We're so happy to have them here. Yeah. And, and they are the uh, concocters of our cocktail this week. Texas Ranch Water, baby. Woo. I, don't, I actually don't know Welcome if you call it Texas Ranch Water. It's just Ranch Water. Well, it's but, straight out of Texas. Uh, it's, it's from Texas. Texas. Yeah, we're from Texas. Yeah. Uh, Mason and Texans, if Please. no one knew, if that's just a reveal. Yeah, two Texas I did not know coming reveal. up tonight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm from Texas. Um, yeah, we love the South. Any other announcements <laughs> that I'm totally. forgetting? Totally. Um, Anything no. else? Oh. Nope. What? Don't we do the thing where we pull? Oh, oh. That's monthly. That's monthly. That is monthly. monthly. Yeah. But yeah, shout out to all of our week, patrons, yeah, including the Atkinsons at all, all the patrons out there. Thank you yeah, so much thank you for to our your patrons. Help. Last week, Jordan Anderson won our mini, who we are sending in the mail. If you join our Patreon at the $10 tier every month, you get your name in a bucket to get a mini that we hand paint. Also, we do a monthly uh, video yes, or live chat or something. Um, Usually that would be this Sunday, but Carson and I are going to be out of town on visiting an Cass. island visiting Cass, so we're going to postpone it a week. To what I believe will be the 13th, second Sunday of the month, whatever, that's, not this Sunday is, next oh, the, Sunday. So yeah, that sounds right. Thank you yeah. for being awesome. Flexible. You're the best. Flexible. Yeah. yeah. Not only That's do we have a Patreon, we also have a Discord. Mm -hmm. Link is in the doobly-doo. Uh, check it out. All Doobly sorts of great baby. conversations oh. happening in there. Oh. The latest uh, is that, by popular demand, there's now, uh, it's like it's like Fantasy Salon, Fantasy where salon it's, all, it's like discussions of ethics mm -hmm. uh, pertaining to D&D &D and also just in general. So yeah. check it out. Nothing better than the Discord. Uh, and hey, if you're here for the first time and don't know how the crossroads work, where you He's get to so decide awesome. our fates, okay. We're gonna go like to our yeah, little just, test crossroads all now. All right. <laughs> An oldie <laughs> but a goodie. <laughs> you know it and love it. Who takes a shot? Oh, Aaron. Oh. Macy and Isabel or Jordan and Jack? Oh, and it's a two peat. Oh. It's a two peat. It's a two peat, oh. baby. <laughs> I know. Put Damn. it in YouTube chat. Exclamation point vote Macy like... or exclamation point vote Jordan. Well, well that's, that's the perfect. chat is God. Don't forget. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll listen to the chat. Okay. Do you have drink or should I get the tequila? Do I? What? No, oh, you I mean... have drink. Okay. I, I have drink ready. You have shots? I have something that is shootable. Imagine. Oh. Yeah, he's oh. giving us something else. Okay, we have Rouse. Jordan, Jordan, Rouse. Macy, <laughs> Macy's parents. Roach Ooh, killer. Roach we killer. have a Macy's parents oh. vote. Oh. Jordan, oh. Macy, Macy, Jordan, Macy, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, 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 Macy. Jordan, 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 Macy, 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 Jordan, Jordan, Macy. Jordan, it's that it's goes neck and neck. When we say on my the chat, that's the breakdown. Pulling oh, ahead no, is Jordan, Jordan and Jack. Jordan, 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 yeah, voting in the chat. It's Macy looking like it's going to be Jordan and yeah. Jack. Wow. No. They don't care that your parents are No one so deserves a, so, a drink more than Jordan. Jack Dodd. Um, All right. I don't have the shot oh, glasses, bitch. but I do have apple cider vinegar to oh, uh, pass bitch. between Jack and Jordan. Help your immune system. I'll never pass had it over it. to you. You're good. You're going to love it. Okay. This is actually going to be good for you this having an early flight. This is going to detox. Should I just like sip it? You can put Not it in the cap or you have to shoot it. Yeah, you have to do like a do large the cap. Do the shoot. Cap. Yeah, you do have to do a whole shot's worth. Okay. Do we okay. want to get those little gold shots or those? Yeah, maybe. I don't want to do this one. Um, well, well, uh, ooh. Oh, gold perfect. shot is gone. Go. <laughs> You've never tasted apple cider vinegar, Jack? I mean, I think I've had it in like a, you know, okay. salad. Good to know. Is that possible? <laughs> Yeah. Um, I mean, okay. Possible. I'm going for it. It's good for, for your gut health. To do it with Jordan. Okay, okay, okay. Cheers. Hey, cheers. cheers to the Atkinsons Love for being here. Cheers to everyone. <laughs> cheers to the viewers. Thanks for being here. Let's do it. Cheers. Please don't kill us. Clink. <laughs> hey, and with that. It's kind of scrumptious. Yeah! yeah. Okay. I'm gonna and burn with anyway. that. <laughs> scrumptious? <laughs> Maybe not. No. I think we're ready to enter this week's episode of Please Don't Kill Us.
previously. And please don't kill us. Our adventurers received a message from their dear friend, Amy, in the Frostbell, telling them to look into something called Rathandra, meaning Great River, the river. and Draconic. And as they received that message, our party continued their trek across the blasted landscape known as the Mornland, what used to be the nation of Seer, before a mysterious cataclysm destroyed it. Our party found shelter at the decapitated head of a colossal warforged, which seemed to be suppressing the gravity in the area. Thaddeus activated the head, accidentally setting off its incinerating beam function. <laughs> and using the arcane radiation of that beam, Scallop hatched the dinosaur egg. Oh, yeah. That she had been carrying since the Uncharted Island. What's the name? Amber Cheddar. Amber Cheddar. <laughs> Amber Cheddar. As they uh, fell asleep, all but for Scallop, who could not. Gigi had something of a cursed nightmare of her brother Grov. It seemed to be attacked by a strange creature. After this violence was resolved, 104's memory glitched out, forgetting who the party was. And in the morning, travel continued. The killers decided that camcorders exist in this world. <laughs> the killers also created a warp in the Mornland so that the party passed through, not without consequences, but reappearing near the city of Kalizard. So <laughs> 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 There we go. The party traveled through a petrified forest into a canyon, coming to the top of a cliff, overlooking a bell tower, sticking up out of the sand with an empty nest inside. Scallop, using a new pair of magical goggles, determined that there's more to this tower underneath the surface. 104, in a fit of electricity running coursing through his, their mind went unconscious Scallop entered their dreams determining that they were traveling through memories guided along by some second entity in their mind so the party put 104 into their bag of holding with a note attached with a magnet they started to descend the crumbling steps down this cliff towards the tower just as. What? I forgot we put him in the back. Yeah, we put him. Why not? <laughs> With yeah, a little magic. Because he can't breathe. He can't breathe. It doesn't matter. Just as. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, battle a time. Stone step crumbled underneath Scallop, Gigi, and finally, the stone step that the three of them were on crumbled. Just as the winged creature they had seen earlier patrolling the skies began to dive down towards them as it barrels down towards the group of you the three of you are hanging on by your fingers to another stone step and i'm going to go to a crossroads where are we here you are um I, i'm gonna go to the crossroads and then i'll tell you the crossroads is does the step Scalp, Gigi, and Phylum are holding on to completely break off? Yes or no? Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> do they wait. die immediately? So further, uh, to your left, like over here? That's the cliff. Okay. So that's... Not who got? Okay. <laughs> so who died? So who I don't know what died. She wasn't in... I, I, I think okay. I had to put her in one of the dice trays, but she wasn't... I'm, we have more than one. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be the... More than one, yeah. I'll be the pride we bear. More than two. Oh. Pride oh well, it, here's one. Is this me? Yeah, I guess that's okay. It. Oh yeah. Sorry. Let's replace this guy. Um. Okay. We have nobody. yes, no, yes, no, no, no. No. But maybe yes would be a little fun. No, it's true. Yeah, and sometimes Eric tricks happen. us. Like sometimes yes. the bad seeming answer is actually right. Like there's no enemies down there, but we're gonna stay up here, and there's gonna be I have a whole GG an angel, <laughs> a unicorn, <laughs> an evil unicorn. Um, totally. With that, it's gonna be no. As the Perfect. step that you were standing on, that the three of you got onto, breaks. The three of you jump to the next step and 
hold on just by your fingers as you feel the step <laughs> turn diagonal against the cliff face and start to slip but manage to keep your hold on it as the step <gasps> stays attached oh to the cliff face with that Thaddeus yes with the slight distraction of seeing the three of your companions fall and flash onto the ledge, yeah. you look up and you see this bird careening down from the sky. As it's approaching you, you get a good look. This seems to be oh. maybe 30 foot wingspan to this creature. Okay. It's what? feathers coated in dust That's and creepy. blood. That's it's really beak. Good somewhat charred in places, broken off pieces of it as it <laughs> comes towards you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone roll initiative. Uh, okay. Woo! Uh, okay. Um, okay. What love? Can I have that one possibly? Do you want this thing? I want my guys. Do you need these? No, or those are for you. Oh, okay. you want the whole thing? Yeah. Thank you. Check if Gigi's in there. Not here. And can I have some of those dice? Yeah. I realize I don't have any. <laughs> okay. What do you need? D20? I need a whole little set if you can slide me one. Okay. Um, okay. Does anyone remember at this table or in the chat, do I have one or two points of exhaustion? Two. Two. Awesome. You do have two points of exhaustion. And what that one. means is that your speed is halved and you have disadvantage on ability checks. It's over for me. Wait, who, who has... No, ability checks don't matter as much. Does not that. mean... Half speed, though, is it? Yeah. Half speed no. is right. Who has uh, exhaustion right now? You gotta get on uh, someone's back. Gigi has one point of exhaustion. Scallop has two points of exhaustion. Cool, cool, cool. As I'm going to collect initiative 25 to 20. Uh, 21. 21 is Thaddeus. 20 to 15. No. 20 to 15. Anyone? <laughs> 15 to 10. 14. 10. 13. We got 14 is Scallop. Yeah. Whoa. 13 is Fire. It's loud in fire. here. I'm what so sorry. Is that? 10, <laughs> 10 is GG. 10 yeah. to 5. That, that's it. That's, that's everyone. It. That's it. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Mom, Dad. <laughs> As you all see this ferocious beast descend from the sky. I'm going to ask you to put the rock. Oh, my God. The oh. <laughs> Blathers. He's so cute. <laughs> Where's he? Oh, I don't even want to hurry him. put it just above kind of the second lip. Of that's the way there. smaller than he is, right? Because you didn't say he's... Um, that is um, a bit smaller. Uh, that's... Yeah, you can imagine... Uh, <laughs> Animal five crossing. Say nine nine the squares. <gasps> so three by three. So he's really like this kind of... That's Whoa. helpful. Leave that there, yeah. That's his wingspan? We can share oh a pencil. It's big, it's even bigger than that. Oh my TBH. gosh, okay. okay. And he has blood on his beak. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> if you missed that little fact. As you look, um, <laughs> as you scene setting, Thaddeus. Yeah. You're roughly 40 feet off of the ground okay. where you are uh, on a step. You still have uh, maybe, I'm gonna say, 30 more feet to go down the stairs along this cliff as you see this gigantic bird barreling out of the sky. Begin with you. I'll turn you into a cockovan, you absolute maniac. <laughs> and then I'm going to run. He hasn't done anything to us. He's just flying. <laughs> right, no, he's coming at you. What's well, scary? Wait, he's yeah, scary. Is he, is he coming for us? Like... Um, uh, uh, <laughs> go and make an insight check. Disadvantage. Also, I have a question about. I, I would have tied up our dinosaurs before going down in there. Can I also make well, an insight check? What about we do? <gasps> One of them's a nat 20. That sucks. But 14, still great. Oh, wait, 21. Wow. 21 with the disadvantage. Amazing. On the insight check, um, this beast looks ferocious. Um, bloodshot eyes as it is coming down towards you. You can see okay. flecks of dried blood on its beak as it seems to be making a beeline towards you with no intent to stop. You also see as you hanging from this step, uh, look over towards it. You see these scars kind of lining its body mm. where within it you see this strange putrid yellow green color emanating from it, almost pulsing from these wounds. 
Ah. That's what you gather. It seems to have a violent intent. <laughs> okay. And a an violent infection. Of yeah. Some yes. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we might get poisoned by this. Did thing. we just leave the dinosaurs up? I think we left them over here in this way. Over here. Um, I'm assuming that the dinosaurs are at the top of the cliff. Yes. Okay. okay I'm going to whip my uh, chef's coat off. And inside I have like little vials. I'm gonna take two spice vials, one oil vial, and one sugar. I'm gonna take out my wok and I'll start cooking. (laughs) And then I'm going to throw whatever is in my thing at this thing, which is pepper spray. Okay. Which is my new ability, thanks that we're now level five. Um, uh, This bird creature now needs to take a uh, constitution saving throw, and this area right here uh, is filled with noxious gas. Whoa. Um, Gross. Incredible. Mm. I was just going to take constitution okay, saving let's... throw. That's going to be a 13. That is a, uh, That does not succeed. Uh, it's a failure. That is a failure. Slay. So the creature now takes 1d8 uh, poison damage and has disadvantage on perception for the next minute. And on okay. the next turn... On their next turn, the creature takes an additional 1d6, and the start of the following turn takes a d4. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That's crazy. I'm gonna rely on you to remember that that as it goes, but incredible. What does it look like as you cook this up and fling it towards this bird? Absolutely, so it, it just comes out, it starts as a liquid, and then it just turns into little, like, saucy little peppers. Like little, like, I would say, let's just say like they're like little dancy peppers. Yeah. Um, and then I throw them, and they kind of do like a little, little dance, yes. and then they try to get you in the eye. You see these liquid peppers gyrating through the sky as they fly through the air. It hisses as it hits this gigantic bird. Is that your turn, Thaddeus? Uh, let me roll that damage. They take five points of poison damage. Five points yeah. of or poison damage. I want the pepper damage. spray to look truly camp. Like, I want it to be <laughs> really, like, a lot. <laughs> Five points of damage peppercorn. on it. Whole peppercorn. Whole peppercorn. Spray. Um, as it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Like, you know, peppercorns mm-hmm. attacked yeah. oh, by but, this. Um, and then I'm gonna start. I'm gonna make my way over here, and I'm just gonna try to. It's not a free action to pull somebody off. That would be a full like that action, right? Oh yeah, are we gonna? Oh. Oh. That would be a full action to pull someone up from the I'm, position that they are in. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> you I'm just gonna prep to myself of to start I did. Like, off. Yeah. yeah, lifting. And uh, you have to spend. I guess this is phylum. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, no, no, don't spend it for me. I feel because, well, I don't know, meta gaming. But you already have your movement halved, and to get up is already fifteen feet, right? Mm-hmm. Probably. Uh, yes. So I can't even move fifteen feet. So maybe work I on her. I, I will to climb. I will to say climb that I will, up, I'm I will say t- it's going to be an athletics check, and then oh. we'll determine the oh. amount of speed it takes. I will but. say that I will know. I will remember <laughs> that my Stop good friend <laughs> is is destitute yep. right now and tired. So I'll moving your focus in. over in and that be, direction. Be my turn. I you come over to me. I'm like, <laughs> so you pulled me up. No, I, I'm just prepared. You seem very about to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's ready to. Yeah. Uh, Looking at you. As that is, you turn, you <laughs> send out this crap. pepper spray onto this animal. Um, we are going to go to a crossroads. Oh. oh. I'm sweating already. I know. I know it's I'm hot so... in here. Sorry, everyone. Okay. Is the AC all the way up? It's all the way up. Amazing. <laughs> cool. Awesome. <laughs> Amazing love. <laughs> okay. Crossroads is uh, somatic means like I. Have to How's the my bird hands? feeling? Like Hungry or guessing. scratchy? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? How is the bird Hungry feeling? Or Hungry or scratchy? Bird. Bloody, bloody beak or bloody talon? Perfect. Maybe it just has. Oh. Like, oh. Uh-oh. This, this is, is awesome. the sound that happens when I make Definitely my Definitely don't spray. change it. I don't know if you're thinking about it. <laughs> so this, this, is you, this is you with your walk, like. Yeah. Madam in the chat did say they do a salsa shake, and this is kind of giving <laughs> oh. salsa, salsa shake. shake. Okay, hungry, hungry, scratchy, hungry, scratchy, scratchy. Hungry, hungry, <laughs> scratchy, scratchy, hungry, scratchy. So I think it's all Who's tied there? up. Who's in the chat? We've got <gasps> Cameron, Cal, Mel's, Zach, Yoel, Dunkov. Um, nothing's gonna stop me. JM Weekend, Madame. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. 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 JM Weekend. Okay, it's, yeah. looking, hey. it's looking scratchy. 
It's looking scratchy as this bird careens towards you, Thaddeus, having oh. sprayed it with this. Uh, it's going to come towards you as it is feeling scratchy rather than hungry. You see these corroded, strange looking talons reveal underneath its wings. It's going to make an attack. We can. That's going to be a 27 to hit. Ooh, yeah, yeah, at that point. Yeah. Ooh. When it gets to that point. <laughs> yeah. Then it's a yeah. yeah. That's a yeah. That's going to be nine points of uh, slashing damage. Okay. Thanks. And you are grappled as it it's scratches oh my against God. you if and it drops off, uh, us picks off the you cliff. up. Its talons wrap around your abdomen as you can feel it begin to fly away. And it is going <gasps> to try to oh. pick you up into the air. Oh, bitch. Well, my above the tower. Well, it, can it see really well right now? Because <laughs> of the pepper spray? Because of the pepper spray? I, there's just disadvantage on perception checks, right? Yeah, but can it see me, though? I do yeah, think, I think it can. <laughs> it is, it is in the middle of the day it's not right now. That hard to find someone. It's I not guess. looking yeah. too hard. Eyes, maybe eyes. Eyes. Yeah. Okay, fly me in. Fly me away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fly me to the moon. Pick fly me to the moon. you fly up me. and whoa, begin to fly up into the air with you okay. in tow. Uh, that is going to be its turn. Can I use my uh, reaction? Uh, what is when your reaction? That happens. Um. Um. I'm scared. Um, <laughs> no, suddenly it's. He could just drop us it's off the cliff. It's not useful. Never mind. It's not. No I, don't have a, I don't have one. What? Because it's I can't not touch him. Yeah. No. With that, it's gonna be scout. Oh, it also takes okay. more damage. Oh yes, it does. What's the damage? Uh, three more points of poison damage. Three more. Very good. A scallop. So I'm obviously trying to get up, and I like love to incorporate my paper wings jump moment into that. Oh, if absolutely. that helps, Ooh. I don't know. Acrobatics. Yeah, yes. uh, with paper wings, go make uh, an athletics check with advantage. <gasps> um, it's an ability check. So, so you that you're just so straight roll flat, flat roll. Yeah. Okay. Athletics. Is that what you said? Yeah. Twelve. Twelve with the twelve, you. <laughs> flutter your wings behind you, trying Come to get on. some lift as you try to pull up, seeing Thaddeus lift it away. You manage to get yourself up onto nice. the step. You are standing now on the step. You've used 10 feet of movement to get up. <laughs> my little wings. So that was just my movement? Uh, that was yeah. 10 feet of movement with the successful athletics. I'm going to say, uh, yeah, that was Amazing. Just movement. Okay, before Thaddeus gets too far away, I'm going to try to cast Bless at second level on all of us. Okay. Um, so that's a D4 to attack and saving rolls for, um, no. let's see how long. We'll use it. For concentration, yeah. yeah. Oh, concentration. It automatically works on, it It just like, it just works, but I'm just not sure if he's still within 30 feet. Um, yeah, I will say that at this point, yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Then I'm doing that, take the pencil. Incredible. That's my action, and then as my bonus action. Well, I've already used all my movement, huh? You've used 10 feet of movements. So I've you, got three five. more that I can. No, she my movement 20 is 25. 25. 25. If it's, if you have. Two and a half feet left. <laughs> <You're> like, uh. <laughs> I do think that rounded down, you only have 10 feet of movement, oh. so you've used all of your movements. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there anything you can do with your bonus action that's, mm. like, not, like... If you have spells of any sort that are bonus actions... They're, uh, all, they're like all spell slotted. All spell slotted, very okay, good. Okay, then I'm just gonna very strike good. a pose. As you feel <laughs> mm -hmm. the sun's rays whoosh, shining on you with your goggles on, looking out, you see this... Bird, this monstrous bird carrying Thaddeus up into the air above the bell tower, looking onto the bell tower, um, no. just to remind you what you can see with that added perception. You can see the <laughs> nest. You can see this empty nest uh, up in the sort <gasps> of bell tower. Oh, and okay, you can just be also baby. see. Uh, <laughs> just, just be baby. I think it'll be good. Yeah. You also see that there is a trap door on in the same area oh. as the nest. Oh, on maybe this we want to be there. Um, Can I the try just yell that to him under my tall. turn? Just yell that? Yeah, just... There's a trap door! Try to get in the trap door! Good luck! Love you! <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I'll send out a smooches. Be smooches! Baby. Smooches! Yes, got it! <laughs> As smooches are sent out. Uh, we are now on to Phylum. You feel cool. sweat trickling down your forehead as you are 
hanging from this step. Yeah. Uh, as you've seen Scallop get onto the next step and Thaddeus being carried away. What do you cool. do? Firstly, I want to say we have Quinn, who is its first time in the chat. Hey! Hi, Quinn. Hey. Thanks, Hi, Quinn. Quinn. Nice Welcome. Hey. Welcome. Um, Macy left. Um, okay, okay, okay. I need to get up. I need to get up. You do so uh, athletics work? check. Go for athletics it. Athletics check. DC is 10. Athletics? What about... What about acrobatics? Um, with this, <laughs> it's less of a dexterous thing what of... What if he does uh, a flip? Okay, whatever, it's fine. I will say, you can do an acrobatics, it'll be a higher DC to do it. No, I won't do that. Up to you. No, no, I'm good. 16. 16 no, succeeds. 17. Okay. 17 succeeds on it, you, you just use 10 feet of movement and you are up, okay. standing on this next step. So is this thing still looking like it's over on our side of the cliff, like it's not in air yet? It's just grappled on to Jordan? Um, no. Or Thaddeus is in the air with this bird. Uh, oh, okay. Hovering over the air. Never mind. Okay, I think I'm gonna cast Magic Missile. Um, there's no risk of it hitting Thaddeus, right? Uh, with a Magic Missile, no, those are, those aim true. Okay, but even a regular spell, would there be a risk of that? Um, with a regular spell, uh, it would depend. Uh, it would, might depend on the roll, but Magic Missile, there's no roll. Magic okay. Missiles, go for it. I'll do Magic Missile, I'll do second level. I think Very good. I um, good roll damage. By the bird? Yeah, it's Because you can then get, oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, maybe we don't have to kill it. Maybe we just have to, like... Well, it was blood. I'm forgetting. Blood on the beat. Yeah. Blood on the talons. And when you incited it, and someone's it's vicious it looks and ready to attack. It's looking to kill 13 you. 13 yeah. damage. <laughs> 13 like, points Why? of damage. Incredible. What kind of chashkis so come out of your magic missiles? Yeah! So, I reach into my pockets, and I, I take out some little, um, uh, 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 what are they called? Press-on nails. Let's mm -hmm. say, um, I heart... Eberron Heart. Hello. I don't feel like this um, sold well. Why not? <laughs> no reason. There's a great market uh -huh. for press on nails. Um, and I you throw and I four of those nails. Sing, 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 and, sing. Um, yeah. So they fly and through. And they poof into like a little like lucky charm happiness. Oh, incredible. <laughs> As the, they shoom, make contact with the feathers, feathers go flying off of the bird as this, uh, you know, four-leaf clover uh, kind of poof of magical energy uh, emerges as uh, you hit the bird. Uh, incredible. Phylum, you are up on this uh, step now, having used mm. 10 feet of movement, having sent this magic missile, looking out as the bird's carrying Thaddeus. Anything else you're going to do? I guess I maybe will move just like a few feet away from the edge. Gotcha. <laughs> kind of pressing yourself in, up against you the know. wall. Uh, on this same step. Yeah. <laughs> you get Just get nervous. <laughs> Finally, it's your turn. Gigi, you are up with Thaddeus on deck. Okay. Um, you are hanging from this uh, stone step, the how, last one. How just, far of a drop below is it? Uh, looking down, just judging, uh, you'd say maybe a few dozen feet, maybe more. Okay. Um, yeah, you try to get up. Very good. Athletics check. With disadvantage. With disadvantage, DC is 10 for this. This is not great for me. Oh. Never mind. Wait, what does Bless do to me? A D4. D4 to wisdom saves and attacks. Okay. Wait. Definitely attack rolls. A six. A six. Um. Before I resolve that, did you I just want to. Yeah, I think I still have Tides of Chaos. It's been used, you, correct? I don't think so today. Oh, we've rested since then. Saving. Okay, you've rested since last night. I don't remember if you, if chat remembers if uh, Phylum's used uh, her Maybe Tides of Chaos rest. today, but you've only traveled today. Okay. Um, okay, then we've rested. Yeah, I got a nice. Please, go. please. We did like a, you got. Sorry, like, I got my spell slots. A six. A six. Okay, okay. Um, as you begin to hoist yourself up, you <clears throat> get your elbows up on the stone and manage to start pulling yourself off before a piece of the step oh, no. crumbles beneath you and you start to fall. Go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw for me. DC on this as you are falling unexpectedly is going to be seventeen. <gasps> Okay, and Whoa. so I get a plus a d4. Yeah, I'm double checking if I roll it or you roll it. And I had to roll this. Do I have to roll you saving roll throws it. at this nope. advantage? I don't think so. Nope, just ability checks. Wait, what was the d4? Yeah. 
Eight. Uh, eight. Wait, with bless? Same throw. You um, seven. Phylum and Scalab, as you have hoist yourselves up onto this stone step, casting spells shoom, toward the bird's direction as the bird is carrying Thaddeus away, um, you yes. hear a yelp oh. coming from Gigi. <laughs> As part of the stone <laughs> breaks off, Gigi, you scramble to try to get finger hold on the st- on the stone, but it continues to crumble under your grasp, and you <laughs> fall, <laughs> free falling Gigi. down through the air, Do down grab on to the branches? rock. I'm holding branches? a ten-foot pole. The dexterity <laughs> saving Gigi throw. Reaction? reaction. Okay, I'm going to say. <laughs> uh oh. With the reaction with the ten foot pole, uh, <laughs> hey, this is rule of cool on this with the, with the ten foot pole for that you. That we bought at the town. This is a ten foot pole that I bought at a in Emerald. magical in item Emerald. shop. It's yeah, gonna take yeah. a DC yeah. twenty dexterity saving throw from you to give uh, to to give Gigi another shot at this. Okay, I get my plus four. Okay, 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 okay. I can't use magical guidance on someone else, can I? Yeah, you can. I can? Uh-huh. Are you being for real, or are you just no, saying that? <laughs> it's over. It's over for it's you. It's over for you, sister. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, uh, it's, it's, sorry. It's too late. Guidance is not, like, a reaction. or anything. I okay. mean, like, I, this isn't a reaction well, either, but... I'm magical just, guidance is you can re-roll a roll whenever you want for a sorcery point. I just want to make sure but you But that's can. you, I think. I don't think that you oh. can transfer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not transferable. <laughs> Um, the guidance spell. As no. you are <laughs> falling, um, looking up as you give the yelp, uh, Scallop <laughs> swings the ten foot pole to try to grab you. It clunks you in the forehead <laughs> as you continue <laughs> oh. falling down. Um, as you fall 40 feet I'm to the ground. No, 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 no. Wait, no. <laughs> You take 13 points of bludgeoning okay. damage as okay. you okay. fall not down pretty, to the sure. bottom no, of this area. What do you need, this though? strange <laughs> sort of dipped uh, area below this cliff face. Luckily, there is a bit of sand to cushion the blow as you wham, hit the bottom. You feel something crack in your torso. You feel the uh, wind completely knocked out of you, and you feel ow. excruciating pain through your ribcage um, as you boom, fall. You're prone at the bottom of that cliff face, having taken 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, That's not my turn, though, right? You can use half your movement to get up. Uh, <laughs> Can I get an action? I will give you an action, yes. Thank you. Um, I get up. And I look around, first of all, at the bottom of this situation. Like, do I see any doors or, like, what am I seeing? Um, at the bottom of this tower you're talking about. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, go ahead and make a perception check for me. Mm-hmm. 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 No. Six. Six? <laughs> this big You're barber. looking. Um, you look at the tower, and as you're watching <laughs> the tower, um, the tower starts leaning. Oh. <laughs> And the tower goes completely horizontal, and then it goes back up to vertical, and then it goes back to horizontal, as you feel that you are still recovering from the fall, and Uh, your eyes uh, and your vision are completely uh, out of whack for the moment. Uh, Okay, I take that in, and um, I am going to, uh, okay, so I stood up with half my movement, and then there's nothing, like, all I see on the tower is just that it's kind of wobbly. Um, as you look at the tower, um, you gather that it's just your vision making it wobble, but you can yeah. see the general direction of the tower. Okay, I'll just start moving towards the tower. Yeah. I'm, I kind of, I'm at the wall now, or whatever this is. Yeah, as you go to there, um, what you see is this sort of lip, um, even, like, maybe, uh, five feet up. And as you look, you can see that there are some staircases, just small staircases that lead from your vantage up onto the grounds uh, ahead of it. Uh, okay. Staircases that descend down into this sort of pool area that you're in, pool Descends of sand. Down? Um, down towards you, so up in the direction you're going. Okay, that's all of the movement I can do, but for my... You guys, I am... Drunk from this ranch water. <laughs> <laughs> you people yeah, are crazy. No, for real. They do it different in Texas. Texas. Nuts, they do yeah. it different there. I shoot above me with my sip. firebolt <laughs> um, at the 
bird. Yeah, as you as uh, you see the bird carrying Thaddeus, as your vision is going wibbly wobbly, you shoot a firebolt up towards Thaddeus and the bird. Oh, natural twenty. <gasps> natural oh, okay, okay, twenty. Okay. As so bird's head. Head. Perfect. Natural twenty. Perfect. Waiting for it to kind of even out in your vision, you <laughs> send yeah. this firebolt towards it. Uh, go and roll damage. Okay. Does this hurt me? I feel like it's only gonna hurt you if he like it's at the point where he dies and falls, but I don't think he's at that point. Yeah, true. True, I didn't think about that. How's he looking? Completely awesome. Okay, I'm also gonna Pretty do awesome. Gorgeous, <laughs> majestic. I'm doing Fury of the Small, so okay. I can add three points. So that's twenty points of damage. Twenty points. Jesus Christ. I rolled twenty one. points of damage that's to right. it as you send out this fire that seems to grow in the light of the sun building until it engulfs the head of this bird as it lets loose a shriek as the fire uh, singes yeah. the feathers on I this bird's head. I, I say, Thaddeus, we're coming for you! And with that, Thaddeus, it is <laughs> your turn. Well, She's, you know I love this meanwhile, song. Yes, <laughs> I love this one too. I'm, I'm listening to the words of my dear new friend, Scala, and I'm being baby. I'm Be gonna kind of go limp. I'm gonna pull out some some mutton jerky from a back pocket. Incredible. I'm gonna look at the bird and say, it's time for feeding, mother. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm going to give her some jerky. I'm going to suck my thumb and I'm going to enjoy the ride. Oh my God. Uh, and make an animal. There's really I'm gonna listen to my friends. I make an them. animal You're handling check for me if you okay. would. Okay, yeah. Wait, what are you trying to do? I'm being baby. Being baby. I, being baby. I, I, being baby. Oh, mama. I fed mother yeah. too. I, exactly. I made her trust me that I'm now baby. Okay. So that she give me food too. You know? Blood. <laughs> yeah, a mouthful of blood. Yeah, We're level that five, right? will be lovely. Uh, We're that level is an five. eight. Uh-huh. An eight. Um, we love a five. Very good. You, um, that's your action, I say. Do you have a bonus action that you're going to try um, as well as on this? I will say just in case baby goes wrong. <laughs> in case baby goes awry. If baby goes awry. <laughs> Baby goes awry. Baby goes sideways. R Y E, like like Amy. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, Nope, I'm gonna just stay baby. Staying baby. I'm staying baby. Um, We're gonna find out. uh, Thaddeus has offered jerky and baby vibes to the bird. I'm gonna go to a crossroads as it is now the bird's turn. Um, what's the bird do? Drop Thaddeus or bring Thaddeus to the nest? Oh, please do Oh, no, I put vote dorp. Put vote dorp for drop. Dorp? Uh, it's <laughs> vote dorp. 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 Don't dorp. Don't dorp me, please. Don't yeah, maybe just dorp. vote nest. I'm right under them. Just yeah. Cameron oh. Morgan, put vote dorp. Cameron Morgan, Do vote, vote. dorp. Mm. Are you in the chat? Yeah, I just, I just pulled it up. Okay. <laughs> Are you in the chat? You secretive, you secretive little secret. This is Gigi below. Door. <laughs> oh luckily, God. it looks like we only have a couple dorps. What is that game that was like on arcade? I was about to ask you that. Like sliding yeah. along, uh-huh. you're catching something. It's very of the now for us. What is that game? What are you talking? Um, about? But do you remember the one on DisneyChannel.com, which was Wait, the Lilo yes. and Stitch yes, one, where, the, where they're thing, making yeah, the sandwich? Yes. 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 I think it's food related. Yes. 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 Did you guys ever you? play the Disney game? Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, I was top ten in the world at like the um. Ooh. Emperor's New Groove Llama game where you like turn That's into a fish incredible. and you turn into a llama and then you turn into a bird. Well, you know what I'm talking about? That is I, know, I, I know that. You know that? What was it on? DisneyChannel.com. Like, Channel. That, that game was really hard. With the lasers? You were anyway, on? sorry. Uh, we have a celebrity so. playing no, with us. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no it was only for a no. brief period then I got out outdone. I was number nine. The, wow. <laughs> the killers are feeling <laughs> sympathetic and they are bringing you to the nest. As you baby. are brought baby. over, you feel the wind, this foul-smelling wind against your face as you're brought over to the top of the bell tower. Is, this um, the, is that this? Um, that is, yes, that structure. Absolutely. You can move the bird and Thaddeus over. Uh, as you are brought over into there, it's going to bring you over and 
stuff you into the nest, uh, which is going to be another talent <laughs> oh, attack. Uh, um, it's going to be a 19 to hit. Yeah, sure. 19 Mama on the talent. Doesn't love me. Uh, that is going tough to love, be. Tough love. Do you have a. Probably just race for 12 points of slashing damage uh, as it go. not even seeming to, get out? to oh, okay not, not even seeming to scratch you uh, uh, or on purpose it just seems to be <laughs> smushing you into the nest uh, uh, <laughs> with the talons scraping against you you take uh, 12 I say? yeah 12 points oh. of slashing damage oh. uh, you are no longer grappled as you are stuffed into the nest uh Go ahead and make a perception check for me, if you would. Okay, first, can I give her, like, really big doe eyes? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. 100%. Uh-huh. Can I roll a cuteness check? Mm. Go ahead and roll a d10 for me. Okay. A d10. <laughs> how hot, uh, our hotness this is check, a hot, but hotness now it's cute. This is a hotness yeah. check for the bird, uh, seeing how hot you are. Okay, that is. <laughs> That's a two. Oh! <laughs> no, I'm giving up. I love our hotness checks. As it's looking at you, uh, a proper fit. Uh, <laughs> as you give the doe eyes up I'm at stressed. it, it looks at I'm you, <laughs> spits acid next to you. Oh. You see the nest burn a little next to you. Um, as go and make that perception check. All right, that should be okay. That is a seventeen. Seventeen. Um, looking around, uh, you take. Uh, sort of uh, inventory of what around, is around you in this nest. Looking around, this is an enormous nest made up of um, a lot of the petrified sort of wood that you saw in the forest that you've traveled through, uh, mixed together with some strange mixture of saliva and acid and strange things melting it together into this unnatural nest. Um, you see over the room of it this trapdoor. Um, on the surface of this bell tower. Looking up, you see this enormous bell, no longer attached up in the top, but rather uh, broken off and resting on the rafters above you on this wood that looks a little worse for wear. Um, Looking in the nest, uh, I'm gonna go to a crossroads for what else is in the nest. For what else is in the nest? Uh If I have a brother or sister, I'm pushing them out of that nest. Something long or something wide? I, I, I work yeah. alone. Long or wide? Baron, Baron said, um, I'm hoping no that baby... Hostage here. Like, there's no worries about Baron said, I'm hoping right. that baby, a.k.a. you, gets kicked out of the nest to learn to fly. I don't want to like, keep you... Yeah. Uh-oh. That's... that's Honestly, I need to learn my lesson. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm trying to think of, like, I was trying to think crazy. of anything I could do. If that All right, I'll do a half of one. A half of one. A half dose. Half of what? <laughs> of a Dunka, Dunka is asking for more drink About waters. ranch water. About a ranch water oh. refill. Does anyone need more ranch water? I'm okay. You want another half? Working slowly. This <laughs> <laughs> is his boy. Do you want to squeeze out? Yeah, squeeze out. Yeah, you know? go behind It's honestly the, so good. You can go yeah, yeah, do whatever, yeah, do whatever makes the most sense. Oh. <laughs> oh. Step over. I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. You got it. Incredible. <laughs> you did absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, oh, it's over. With that, it is something um. wide. Uh, <laughs> this ass. Sorry. Good luck getting past this ass. <laughs> As you are perceiving this nest, that is, uh, looking around you, you can see that it is made up of these branches, these dry pieces uh-huh. of wood, these uh, sort of the gunk of saliva and acid, sticking it together. But you also see bones. Um, okay. You see a variety of different shattered bones. Impossible to tell what sort of creature they came from mixed together. Um, until you do see what looks uh, very familiar familiar to you. Uh, 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 humanoid skull. Um, just sort of squashed into the mix Uh-oh. of this nest. Um, and in addition to that, you see sort of next to it Slightly buried in the wood, um, what looks like a shield. Uh, a shield? It has initials carved into it. L-B. 
and Louis looking Vuitton. beyond that with your perception <laughs> check, do we know any sort of Bonham? buried yeah, even deeper much. into this, <laughs> yeah. um, you see the fabric, decayed fabric of a small <laughs> Thank sack you, buried in there. No, this good. is what you perceive. Uh, can I, I, can that still, is, I can still move though, right? It is the bird's turn. Uh, as you did use your turn no, to... Uh, you have to go on the I couch think, if it's more difficult. Oh, the turn, your the turn birds. was just to do the animal handling. Uh, this is the watch bird's turn. Course, that, uh, I'm just having you do a perception check as you reach the nest. So okay. no actions or anything at, at this point. Um, also, oh my God. Incredible. <laughs> Low battery on the tele on the television or the computer. What did you just say? Whatever computer is attached oh, to the oh, TV oh. is low battery. It's chaos. <laughs> I'll fix it. No okay, worries. Bye. Bye. It is now scallop. Oh, wait, okay. oh, yes. What's up? Is it the bird's turn? Uh, that was the bird's turn to oh, scratch takes, you up and he, put you. Oh, yeah. Takes definitely. more damage. Absolutely. Uh, let me. Does anyone have a? No, I have a D4. I just hit what it. are you doing? That what's the damage about? So I have. This is from okay, Pepper Spray. If you are part of, um, I think our Patreon, right? Yeah, or I can't remember if it's Discord. Discord or Patreon. Yeah. Um, we have created our own subclass of artis- artificer, <laughs> which is how you really say it. Which artificer? I learned, I learned that recently. The more you know. <laughs> what's uh, happening? What happened? Jack is full stuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Are you okay? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! There's some equipment on a slant. It's birth. That's what baby is. That's that was baby. scary. Birth Sorry. By the table. Oh my uh, god! Uh, okay, so we created a subclass bad. that you can access. Yeah. Uh, for this journey, it's called Chef, and one of the things at level five we get is pepper spray. We're, I'm using three of my uh, basic spices, like uh, three of my basic items, such as spice, oil, and sugar, kind of combining them all together to create an attack. It's yeah. super incredible. Dope. There's other stuff cool. that I can do too, but you gotta. There's wait so and much see. to it. And it's great watching. for Eberron and for other worlds, exactly. designed by Jordan along with Carson McCauley and Jack Dentinger. Uh, incredible. That's the pepper spray. In answer to your question, is what is hurting this bird uh, even it, three rounds later? Yes, it's still later. poison. Poison from the. Uh, spray. Um, how much damage that? Three more points. Three more points of, of damage to it as it continues to burn down. along mm-hmm. its feathers. No Thaddeus, uh, or that is the bird's turn. Scallop, you are up with Phylum on deck. Okay. All right. Do, would you say Gigi's within sixty feet of me? She's uh, like forty feet on the map, but then she's below me. You know, or she's. Five, yeah, 10, I'm gonna say yes. 15, 20. She's 30 feet within me, but then below me. I think so, yes. Okay, great. Then I'm gonna cast Healing Word hey. on her. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you almost? No, Which I, is... I did get hurt, but. I'm just doing my job. There's not a lot I can do other than keep you guys good. So y'all You're go. awesome. Y'all go do some good stuff. Eight points of healing. That's really great. And then I'm going to cast Toll of the Dead. Oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> On the bird. <laughs> um, and I want it, the bell that I ring, I would like to b- ring the bell in the tower yeah. if I can. 100%. If I may. Oh, um, cool. As you send out that's this cool. divine that's magic me. into the air, can I have some this sound, yeah. this dolorous sound. I love when someone has to gather dice. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Fills the air this is and begins to reverberate against oh, the bell above your head, Thaddeus, uh, as you can feel that bell vibrating and reverberating the sound of this toll the dead. Um, is that a saving throw? I gathered the dice wrong. I don't need you guys. <laughs> oh. Wrong spell. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, wisdom saving. Wisdom save. It's a critical failure. <gasps> Let's go! Okay, and then 2d8. Does anyone have a d8 I can borrow now? I don't know, girl. What do you got? Okay, I got it. Maybe something crazy. Do you got any ranges? Range spells? Of course. Who? 12. I don't know. You know, I was 12 points of damage. (laughs) That brings up 15. (laughs) Damage. Incredible. (laughs) As you send out this sound, this tone, filling this cavernous space around you, this uh, part of the canyon sort of echoing it across um, the bell uh, above Thaddeus's head in this bell tower begins to send out this sound as this energy enters into the bird, echoing throughout the top of this tower. You can see the bird shivering and shaking from the damage it inflicts in pain. 
Uh, Scallop, is that your turn? No, I'm gonna move over here, over to my girl. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, can I get on your back? Huh? If I, mean, if I get on her time. back, like, will that hugely encumber her? Um, it might encumber a little bit, but. What does that mean, though? Maybe not huge. We'll, well see as you the go. The problem is that. Mm. Are you going down? Well, I was gonna, I guess maybe this is a question for the DM. If I were to Misty Step with her on my back, would I carry her? Misty Step, I believe you can take someone. Uh, Misty Step, uh, oh, no you can't. Oh. Not the bell tolling in this. Okay, well then maybe I'll just jump down instead, if that's okay. I'll use my, I'll use another one of my paper wings to make a big jump this way. Jump all the way to there. Uh, down about like 40 yeah. feet down to the ground. Whoa. Um, so my, my, I can jump. She's got wings. Yeah, um, could you like with the paper flutter wings, down? Uh, you can cast a jump spell on you three times per day. Uh, so I. And it's like. It can work out, yeah. So if I do a long jump, I can go 51 feet. So can I use some of that to go down and like, you know what I mean? Not go a whole 50, but. Um, yeah, long jump is going to be, uh, you need, I think, at least 10 feet of, of a running start. Okay. You just want me to say, it's just going to be a check to see how well you do this jump with wings. What, um, what kind of check? I'm, I would say acrobatics, uh, but you can use athletics too if you would like. Acrobatics works. I'll just back up and... <laughs> and smell the roses. <laughs> I'm going to back up, take a little... No, it's okay. If you want to get on, on my, my back, wings. you can. And no, we can figure because it out I together. do think that we need to go here. Ultimately. And I should just go. I was thinking that I maybe could Misty Step with you, or... Maybe I'll just Misty Step with a rope in hand, and you can follow. What? Wait, huh? <laughs> like to climb the belt? Yeah, like, I'll just get there, and then you can grab. Oh. But I'd still have to get down here. I'll just throw you a rope. I'm gonna, I back up my 10 feet and I'm taking my jump and I'm trying to just kind of move this way but down and land easy. Absolutely. Whatever that Go looks make like. Make an acrobatics check. The DC for this, I'm going to put a 12. Oh my god, I have disadvantage. Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. It's 11! It's <laughs> Wait, do you have guidance? Yes! Ooh, oh, baby. but that's saving throws. Only? Is that right? I well, wait, what about that your might be right. bless? Does it work on you? Uh, oh, I can no, guidance add myself. the number to oh, roll to one myself. ability check of your choice with guidance. Okay. Well, guidance. No, it was bless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because bless. Gotcha. But, but can she cast but guidance? But did, did you not hear me say guidance? <laughs> <laughs> I think you've already rolled it. Okay. It's an 11 as you go <laughs> flying off. You try <laughs> fluttering the wings behind you as you begin to fall at a velocity that is unexpected to you. You feel like your wings should be able to slow you down, but you start to pick up speed as you 40 feet collide. Um, with the paper wings, with the jump spell, I'm going to have... Uh, the number of dice we're gonna roll for this fall. Um, so it's gonna be eight points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, as you whoo, go flying down, uh, you make a less than graceful uh, <laughs> uh, impact to the grounds as instead of doing a full roll, oh, like shit. a somersault, <laughs> it's kind of like your body whoo, turns sideways and begins to roll in that direction, just boom, 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 boom against the oh, same. No. Um, taking so, that bludgeoning damage. Where do you, if I know you can't see, but how like far would from them are? Where do you think I am? Um, I would say you're right at the lip of that. The second. Uh, yes. Yeah, we'll put like you that. there. Okay. Okay. Um, scout, that's my turn. That's your turn, Phylum, You are up. With okay. GG on deck. Can I misty step if I jump and then misty step in midair? Um, yeah, I don't see why not. Okay. How far can I jump? Uh, how far can you jump? A uh, uh, high jump, I believe, is your strength modifier, and a long, long jump, jump with 10 feet of, uh, like, runway to yeah. do it, I think, is your strength score. Um, I could okay. be wrong about that. I, I just heard Jack Denger say something like that recently. <laughs> I'm gonna just trust you for totally. one. No, that's right. Long jump is your strength score, and high jump is your strength... Plus three. Okay. Oh, plus strength three. Strength mod, strength mod. Strength mod plus three, very Okay, good. so I'm gonna take a 10 foot I wrote it down jump. Right 
and I'm gonna jump. So five, ten, strength plus three. You said? Strength mod plus three. If you're doing oh. high jump, if oh, you're doing long mod. jump, it's just your strength mod. So what if it's okay? So it's Scoring in between. Right or sorry, your strength score. 13. If it's yeah, right. long jump. Then I'm gonna misty step. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. It's not up further than us, is it? Uh, or down. Sorry, you sorry, can't hear yep. me. You can't hear me. Um, is the nest like higher or lower than us, or is it on our plane? The nest is forty feet up from the ground below it. I know that's a little hard to see. And to where? Tell and this, we're, but... we're Well, I was here. I was on the cliff. Yes, the the top of the cliff. You where you were on the steps is forty feet. So you were basically on the same level as the top oh, of this tower. Perfect. So I can missy step. Onto the tower. Misty step is thirty, 30 feet. feet, and I took a I took a ten foot jump oh, off of it. it. Incredible. Yeah. Okay. 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 Is that right? I, I, a different plan. I think all, that's no. right. Okay. I think that's right. I think that's right. Backs up. I say. <laughs> Taking a breath. Everyone is gone from these steps. You're the only one left on these steps. Um, as you back up against the wall, yep. take as many strides as you can along these steps, and I'm awesome. <laughs> Hoist yourself <laughs> off, flying, just jumping through the air, a uh, uh, harrowing fall beneath you, just over the canyon as you encant the magic and disappear in a cloud of mist and reappear in the nest next to Thaddeus, okay. right next to this gigantic bird. And they both, you two, are on the ground, 40 feet below. With my action, I'd love to take out my rope, 50 feet of rope, mm -hmm. um, attach it to the end of a dagger and throw a dagger down there. Gotcha. Just into the ground. You've missed your step is a bonus, bonus action. action. So you still have your full action yeah. to go ahead. That's I guess I don't need to throw a dagger. I can just throw it because it's 40 yeah. feet and I have 50 feet. I also wonder if there's a way we can climb up, you know? With the rope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean like steps or something. But we might as well take the might rope. Well take I mean, it's just yeah, yeah. rope. Just in off, case, I'm gonna do it. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna against one of the four sort of arches yeah. of this uh, bell tower. As you quickly kind of evading away from the bird, as this gigantic bird is <laughs> looking towards you, as you quickly go over uh -oh. and <laughs> tie this off and throw the rope so off the side. Um, as you throw it off. Phylum, is that your turn? Mm, yeah, that's it. Gigi, you are up with Thaddeus on deck. Yes, ma'am. No, I just in my head was like, obviously I can't make it that far. Um, and then just didn't do math. Okay, so I'm gonna... Where's the point of everybody? Sorry. Um, I'm gonna go to the bottom of the tower. Do I, what do I see kind of down here? Um, go ahead and make an investigation check for me. <laughs> 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 um, okay, investigation. Um, a nine. A nine. Um, looking around, these are old, very uh, old decayed sort of bricks, uh, large bricks uh, that line the wall of this. Um, as you're looking, a rope <laughs> falls down uh, and... You had enough uh, of the rope to drop down all the way to the ground. Okay. To kind of climb the rope, to get on the rope, is it just my movement or do I need to do um, that? It is double, uh, double movement to climb uh, and I'm going to require a check to get up. Ugh, oh, I'm exhausted. All my rolls are horrible. <laughs> and can I still do an action? Um, with the climbing, yeah, yeah, I'll say you can do action. Okay, first I'm gonna shoot another firebolt up at the bird. <laughs> Incredible, you back away from first the wall of First things first, first um, just get mad. Yeah. Before you have to I walk, back I away guess. from the wall of, of can this. Can I just say I did it before I watched the wall? Oh, yeah, my yeah, 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 I'll allow that, yeah. As, uh, in that sort of space, as you're examining the wall as well as approaching it, you <laughs> send up this firebolt, what'd you roll? 25. Hits. Ooh, Go to roll yeah. damage. Sucker. Ooh. Bitch. Okay. 16 points of damage. Okay. 16 Damn. points okay. of damage. It's looking a little rough. 
Oh, it's looking a, a little, little rough as the send up like to hear. a fireball again growing in the light of the sun, strangely uh, kind of morphing into different shapes as it <laughs> sends up and alights the back of this bird, which lets loose another shriek as it <laughs> burns across its back. Poor okay, bird. so I've used 15 feet of my movement. So I have another t- 10. Um, which is only five, right? If you say it's double. So I just uh, can get up five feet. Yeah, that would be Maybe. <laughs> I just climb, I hold onto the rope, and I say, pull me! <laughs> pull me? I'm like the least strong person of all of us. <laughs> looking up, you guys you are long asking eyes, a lot. Looking 40 feet up, you just see Phylum's face looking down <laughs> off the precipice. <laughs> uh, oh. Looking up, you get just... Can't. Just a tiny bit up. I don't think uh, I even need to make an athletics check for just no, jumping No, we five will feet. leave. The five <laughs> feet is basically just like putting your feet against the wall. Um, as you begin your climb, uh, that's your turn, Gigi. <sighs> yeah, that's my turn. Thaddeus, you are up. Cool. Oh my god, I thought um, I had two attacks. You have just been no. smushed oh, cool. so I've been into smushed? the nest. Okay. Am I not prone? Um, you are prone at this moment. You are lying uh, <laughs> on I, there as you've been dropped into there. A question really quick. Yeah. Uh, so I just realized because I'm level five now, I have an extra attack, which I haven't been doing. But do you get an extra attack when you do like a cantrip spell? Um, or is it I, only when you hit with your... Because you're a fighter, right? I don't think that well, that would apply. Well, arcane fighter. Ooh, baby. Uh, is that arcane fighter? Is that Eldritch Knight? Yes, that's what I meant. Yeah, Eldritch Knight. Um, <laughs> Let's Arcane find it. Yeah. Out. Um, I have magic. Only one, only attack action, says Jack. Only attack action. Get out of here! <laughs> I'm just reading, I'm just reading the truth. Get out! Thank you, Jack, I'm just very the messenger. <laughs> okay. I guess Jack I could say the same. That's your turn. Thaddeus. Yes. Um, you are prone, as you have, from the grapple, been dropped with a... Scre- uh, scraping scratch against your body and kind of stuffed into this nest. I'm um, gonna going a casually inside kind of, of my chef's coat uh-huh. and I'm gonna grab two vials of oil, one vial of sugar, and one vial of spice. I'm gonna open them up and I'm taking it raw. <laughs> okay. One vial of yeah, very powerful. Slowly I start to grow and grow like Violet Beauregard and oh oh really walk on top of the Wow. Until I go from a size medium to a size large. <laughs> Mama. So I'm now like t- two to Poor three girl. times the size. Yeah, hundred percent. This is called from taking oh this raw God. material into your body. Bear. You feel yeah, the trade-off of uh, incredible gas pain now. in your stomach <laughs> yeah. as you feel your body <laughs> grow <laughs> in stature. Please. Yeah, uh, you this are now size called, large. This is called tough tummy. Tough tummy. So um, I grow in size, but also for three turns. <laughs> I gain resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing damage from non-magical weapons. Ooh, noise, noise. And uh, on the third turn, something happens, Characters. or if we're out of initiative, in well, ten minutes after we end initiative, something happens. But I okay. stay like this for that amount of time. Good to know. GG, GG. Okay. Um, okay, I know I'm on the ground, but can I just like slowly like go like this? Like, <laughs> try to scooch myself around to get that bag? Uh, to get close to that bag. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, w- I would say that you're not gonna leave the area of this bird, so you're able to just kind of Wait, what's scramble the, what's over. The um, oh, it's, there's a it's, bag there. There's a bag and there's a shield. It's uh, double movement, but it's a small space. You're able to kind of just shuffle yourself over over to where you've seen these things kind of stuffed in. Uh, yeah, what are you doing? Can I open it? Reaching in, you <laughs> grabbing the bag. Uh, as you have seen, you've seen that there is skull, shield, bag. You go in, bring this bag out, um, and looking inside, as you open it up, just taking a look the inside. Hitting tonight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see a fair amount of gold and silver. That's it. A what? Cool. Okay. A golden what? Just gold and Be silver. Be able to count it later. Huh. Okay. okay, I'll We're take it. Rich. Um, am I next to the shield too? Yeah. We I'm just gonna hold on to it. I'm just gonna kind of grab both. Cool. That's okay. Let me get our kind of check for. Those are kind of pricey. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, oh, my. That, that is a 23. 23. Um, you immediately sense that there is some arcane oh, nature to this shield. Some the magic shield. emanating from it. Cool. Um, you've shuffled over there. Anything else that you're doing on this turn? I'm just going to hold on to it. As you grab these things out of the nest, sh- 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 sort of breaking it free from the petrified wood and putting it on your person. What's, nice. What size is it, by the way? The shield? No, the bird. <laughs> the like, bird is technically huge. 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 Yeah. What, if I'm, what size is a human? Is it medium? medium. Yeah. You're large. How big am I as a large? Lar- large. Large? <laughs> large. As a large. <laughs> You're large. Like, like what is compared to like what creature? What would I be compared to? Whoa. Whoa. Um, a gorilla? Uh, yeah, a gorilla, probably. A giant owl? Large. Oh, a giant what? Owl. Gotcha. Place a towel. Uh, a yeah, giant, giant, giant owl. Towel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, something like that, yeah. That? Okay, cool. Well, I'm big. Just wondering. Yeah, I, got, I, got, I, just, I just wanted to. I just want to visualize how big. Totally. I am. Totally. I got a big old. Yeah. For all purposes, totally. you are uh, two by two on. You just need on to know. Board. I think it's because uh, I'm thinking about Violet Beauregard from the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie, and not Violet Beauregard from the Willy Wonka movie, where she's just a little bit bigger than she is. Oh, you know interesting. I, mean? she I haven't really seen the really Tim Burton one. She's time. just a big tummy. Like I, I, I become a big, like big balloon size. Gotcha. You just become nice. spherical, basically. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, okay. So that's, you my, that's my turn. Blow up to this enormous size and kind of stuff your hand in the nest, pulling these things out. That is your turn, Thaddeus, as it is now the bird's turn. Uh, and I'm going to ask the killers out there to make a decision. What is Thaddeus to this bird? Oh. Food or nesting material? Oh. Uh, not baby. Food, not baby. Vote nest. So baby was never on the table. <laughs> yeah, was was never gonna be it. <laughs> Nesting material. It just needs to oh, get a hit with the claws. It. The, no, it you're gonna get like play doh. You, yeah. You ever seen a bird like try to get a twig into its nest? Yeah, that's Seriously, actually like, fucked up. There's. I, have you? That's I, actually scary. Yeah. And fucked yeah. up. It's really yeah. fucked up. Not not live, <laughs> but yeah, recording. Uh, Henry has coots outside of his boat right now. Is that a bird? It is a type of bird. Yeah. Sorry. A coot. There's, I don't there's know that family is. of British coots. Bird? I don't know. It's a type of British bird. They're all around. They make a lot of noise, but they uh, made a nest out of chip bags. Oh, chip bags whoa. and that's so beautiful. Cute. Chip bags and other crisp bags. Well, don't Wait, sorry, that's actually like bird. about to depress the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so don't really. say that again. It was, it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> don't say that. Again. <laughs> but they survive. Um, <laughs> okay, wait. It's looking food. It's looking food as this bird has finally gotten you into its nest. Okay. As you get up and you are ballooned in size, you can see it turning away. From Phylum and looking like at you, to fit me in its mouth. and <laughs> can s- imagine it's it, imagining oh, wait, how much meat different. is now on your body as you are ballooned yeah, no, to the size and it is going to attack you. <laughs> I know, I opened up its mouth. <laughs> That's a 16 to hit. Uh, that is, that it. just hits. That just hits. That it is was going just to be a series of events. I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> 12 points of piercing damage. Half, right? uh, so half to six. Nice, as it nice. starts to, you see its no mangled, bloody no beak I open and <laughs> try to uh, try to begin to tear you apart and eat you. Um, with this toughened exterior, you manage to start to roll out of the way as it slams against you. You take six points of uh, piercing damage from this. Uh, as it squawks in your direction, that is going to be the bird's turn. Scout, you're up with Phylum on deck. May I guiding bolt his ass? I think you can. <laughs> I think you can. <laughs> That's we what I'm going to do. It's giving mother to me. Her ass. <laughs> <laughs> you're so right. Um, now I'll take those D4s. Yeah. I'm sorry, D6s. It's so much more fun to do it all at once than to do it multiple yeah, times. Yeah, Four yeah. of them, please. Oh, what, what did you roll to hit? Oh, so true. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, so, so true. true. It's, yeah. Okay, can I, I add up my... Can I... Oh, wait, no, that's different. Okay, I have a... Oh, sorry. Well, it's hard when you do that. <laughs> Let me try this. Let me try this. 
Elsa. Eight to hit. No, plus plus something. Gotta be. That's a, plus something. No, 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 but your attack bonus. bonus. Oh, 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 oh. You have oh. a spellcasting modifier. Oh, ah, okay. Don't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did I say? You eight said eight. Eight plus. Eight plus. Seven. Fifteen. 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 Hits. Okay. Oh. There we go. There we go. Hits. <laughs> I think we're all this. drunk tonight. I think that maybe we're all drunk. <laughs> I don't think it was. Hit. I don't think it was our intention either. But we're here. I don't know what's um, happening. Okay. Incredible. Two more Fifteen please. hits. Hundred percent. Go and roll that damage. You send out this guiding bolt. To me, this is how PDK used to feel. I feel like I used to get drunk Six, like every time. 11, yeah. And then we, we stopped. The back we dialed the back like I think it's good to not. When the parents are in town. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, can I ask a question? Yeah. Was this, was this, you gave us levels, like medium. Oh, or, uh, this, what is this? On the range bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Rock <laughs> solid. Range bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right on. This is 17 points of damage. 17. <laughs> Do people know what ranch water is? Ranch water is Topo Chico, lime juice, and tequila. All mixed together. And it's really good. We'll put it in the Tired Expressions Discord channel soon. Um, Incredible. 17 points of damage. What does your guiding bolt look like as you send it out? Let me read what she is real quick. Totally. (laughs) Guiding bolt, a flash of light streaking towards a creature of your choice. I think it's the same color as my little mace, which is like this kind of aqua blue. And it also is kind of the color of the Church of the Silver Flame. Totally. Church of the Silver Flame. And maybe it's like flamey, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like almost silver blue flames that send out, catching the glint of the sun, this orange sun in the distance as it kaleidoscope colors emerging from it as it sends out and collides with this bird, setting a flame silver across the back of these feathers, burning this enormous bird. It's looking pretty rough at this point. As you send out this guiding bolt, Scallop, is that your turn? Um... Yeah. Amazing. Violin. Yeah. It's your turn. You are up in the nest, having just thrown the rope over, locking eyes nest. with Gigi, beginning to climb nest. up. Okay. Up in the nest. So. Nest. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do, I forgot that I had bonkers. Totally. Um, so, what I'm gonna do, I'm throwing my staff of the python right on the floor, right in the middle of the... The nest. Like, right next to it. Yeah. It's, a, it's a huge beast, mm-hmm. just like the bird. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, so... This is like a... And it's a predator of the fire. bird, yeah, I'll say. I'll say, uh-huh. I'll say yeah. it's yeah. just in case you're F-8. forgetting. Yep. Um, and, of, of course... Um, so I guess that's my action, unfortunately. Gotcha. Um, and of course I'm gonna say, <laughs> chicken. And um, <laughs> of course, of course I'm going to say, of course I'll say. <laughs> and Bonkers is gonna have his way. And <laughs> um, it wouldn't be a bonus action to try and pull them up, would it? Um, I would say that's a full you, action. Do you, you, you think like it could be a bonus action? Could be like to helping help me you so, like, on your next turn. No, that is a full action. Do the help. Okay, action. that's an action. Um, <laughs> so sorry. Um, bonkers. Okay. Does bonkers go right after you in our initiative? Is that how it goes, or does bonkers roll initiative? That's a good question. I like, I mean, it's simpler to do it right after you if you want to do that way. I would love to do it right Let's after. Let's do that. You. So great. Chomp, chomp. Um, I guess that's all I can do. Amazing. But um, Bonkers has words as to say. Bonkers, you yeah. throw this staff down, <laughs> and immediately, and, and he's gonna try to comes out of the staff, <laughs> engorging to this enormous <laughs> snake, filling yeah. up the space around you. Uh, it immediately becomes clear that there is nearly not enough room for all of you in this nope. space. Yeah, as Bonkers is now bonkers, coiled though. in this not nest, forget. as well as this gigantic we bird, can ride as well as Thaddeus and uh, Phylum in this nest, um, it's become a little precarious for the two of you to stay at the top of this tower, but you're in it for now, okay. um, as it is now Bonkers' turn. Yeah, Bonkers is going to um, constrict 
Bonkers this beat. joins Incredible. initiative order. Yes, Bonkers is. Whoa! No, Bonkers has entered the chat. And the other guys Bonkers could... entered the chat. Um, so Bonkers. Go to roll to attack. And the other guys could. Okay. Foo foo. Foo foo. Twenty five to hit. Quiet. I just want to see who can cast spells. Um, so Bonkers. Oh, which is cool. Whoa, that's and, like really cool. center somewhere. Slay. Cool. We're we're fighting. Bonkers. Slay by Bonkers. I know you guys have mixed feelings, but of Bonkers slays. Huge, I think it was just because of. Bonkers interaction. So Bonkers is gonna do um, eight bludgeoning damage, and the target is grappled, and the escape is a DC 16. Until this grapple ends, the creature is restrained and cannot. The snake cannot constrict another target, but I'm not worried about that. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and one target on mind. Bonkers starts to wrap around this giant bird as it's burning from the firebolt, from the guiding bolts, these arcane fires spreading across his feathers. Uh, Bonkers takes this opportunity to go around and around the body of this gigantic bird and begin to squeeze mm -hmm. in on this bird. Mm -hmm. um, Shit, yeah. As yeah. You can yeah. see the bird yeah. exhale, yeah. letting loose air, and then uh, struggle to inhale uh, as uh, Bonkers constricts tighter and tighter. Uh, bonkers, is that her turn? Her? Sure. She's gender fluid. Mm. Um, yeah, Bonkers is settled in. Very good. Yeah, bonkers <laughs> settled in. Gigi, at the bottom of the tower, uh, the rope in your hands, a couple feet on the wall, beginning your climb up. Um, so from climbing on the wall, I can't see her, right? Um, you cannot. No. How much up can it's I 40 get? feet from the ground. You've climbed five feet at this point, so there's 35 feet left. Uh, you're operating uh, at half speed climbing, and it's going to be a check. It's just not worth it. It's a lot. Um, I drop. Five okay, feet. I just, some, just like, five feet down to the ground, <laughs> landing on her feet, a cloud of I'm dust. I'm too tired pass. and I can't do it. Um, so I step back a few feet so I can see the bird. Yep. And then I will cast. Um, God, it's my only ranged spell. I think just kind of a bummer. Uh, I love our pets. I Where know. would we be without this pet? We have so Don't many animals. Don't be forgetting my new baby. Amber Cheddar. Amber the, Cheddar. The inspiration for the campaign went from Amber Indiana Jones to We Bought a Zoo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Really. Neo pets. Zabumafu. Zabumafu <laughs> pets. Oh, I miss uh, the golden 17? era. Yeah. 17 to hit. Absolutely hits. You guys have Neo pets? Yeah, yeah, I just never, yeah. never understand it. I, I really tried like, very hard to understand. Club Penguin. Neopets had like a thing that was separate over. from Club Penguin. It was like not of very user friendly. No, was like, that? It wasn't like visually Eight more points of damage. To, like, it's it. looking rough. This is a um, another uh, firebolt. This is another firebolt. Um, and oh wait, wait, wait! I can re-roll a damage dice because I'm uh, something about being a great weapon fighter. Very I don't know. Okay, so good. so seven on one, and then. So 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Amazing. Didn't do it. Not, Not quite. quite. It's it's hobbling now. It's seemingly off balance. As you can see now that Bonkers, the giant constrictor snake, is fully wrapped around it. Yeah. Um, squeezing die. tighter and tight. I know. Die. It's really Go ahead and die. die. For real. As you die. set flame to the fire. Can feathers. I do an action, action surge and take an additional action? Um... I think you can, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do my action surge. Yeah. And do this again. Very good. And that'll be a Ooh. 25 to hit. Ooh. Hits, 100%. And then, that's 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage? Like die. Right? If like die that, already. So it's, yeah. It's talons start to buckle underneath it. <laughs> Bonkers constricts a little tighter and you send out the spell. How do you want to do this? Oh, yay! yay! Oh, um, yeah. Gigi's we killed the bird! We killed the big bird. Gigi I kind like of stumbles we killed back big bird. like 10 feet or bird. so, pretty tired, and then just like reaches her hands up, like not even really looking. <laughs> yeah. It throws it out. Stumbling back a little bit. Still your vision kind of wobbling yeah, from yeah, the... Yeah, like, oh my god, die. Sends it, and it 
begins to burn the feathers, bonkers with a final sort of rib-crushing squeeze. <laughs> unfurls from the body as it burns. You hear this last shrieking croak mm. from the bird as it <laughs> falls. You're dead. <laughs> Into the over, nest. I look over to Scarlet. You are out of initiative order. Okay. I say, I think there's no an easier way up map. there than climbing that rope because that's sort of taking a lot of my energy. I'm probably gonna jump, frankly. I'm really tired as well, oh, so walking's I'm not really working. I'm tired. Okay. Walking's um, not working so guys, good for me. I, sh- I, I go over to the rope and shout. I say, can you guys pull me up? Yeah. The two of you? Huh. Or bonkers? I don't know. Mm, bonkers? Is busy eating the bird. Okay. Um, but can you save me the dark meat. <laughs> oh, um, you're I think you're you oh, big. Yeah, I'm big. <laughs> I was not big enough. Yeah. I would but like to use. Oh, you can definitely pull me. You're strong. Yeah. Enough. Am I, do I? I don't know if I get like. St- I just get big. Mm. I think it's mostly. Gas. I'll. I'll. Well, I'll mm. help. I'll. I'll help you up. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll help you with. Up. I'll. I'll be the anchor at least. Great. Yeah. Um. As they begin to pull you up, uh, go to make a perception check for me as you are climbing. <gasps> I'm up. so excited to find that trapdoor. <laughs> mm. I need like a nap, by the way. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Me, like me too. we could do a short rest. I need a nap to to a full rem. Mm. That's whoa, like whoa, whoa! Sorry, I do. Done, Sorry, um, I do. That? I haven't slept in like two days. Oh yeah, I forgot. Three, about you. Okay. Um, as in you the nest. Begin to <laughs> continue the climb <laughs> up. Um, with the help me. of your uh, friends <laughs> being pulled I up. Like, look around. I got a three. <laughs> Tell us to look around. So you begin to pull up uh, yeah. on the rope. You eventually make it all the way to the top <clears throat> with the help of Thaddeus. Yeah. As I'm kind of pull, pulling up, I, I look down and around and I say, I didn't see anything interesting down there, but take a scan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and I climb up. Okay, we'll take a look anything down there um looking from the top of the tower yeah. Uh, yeah i'll look around too if i are we out of an issue cool. mm-hmm. yeah. um go ahead and make perception checks then. yeah don't even don't even look at me <laughs> don't even i have a 15 me. oh straight roll on her that's what we call in the biz a, a natural nat one, one. Mm-hmm. i thought so <laughs> Say it with me. A natural, natural one. one. Um, so. Natural one. Um, so, yeah. But I'm booked and busy. Yeah, you are. So don't worry. As uh, Scallop, you're looking around the sort of base of this tower, uh, having a look around uh, your surroundings. Um, feel the heat of the sun and see this tall brick structure in front of you. Um, and as you're kind of trying to get a closer look, there's a drop, an enormous wet drop from above you (laughs) lands, narrowly dodging out of the way, and you look up and you see the beak of this creature just lolling over the side of the tower. Um, Shake that off. Um, With a 15 looking out from the tower. um, Just scanning the sort of circumference here, this immediate area around you. Um, looking up back at the cliff that you came from, you see the canyon sort of stretching up beyond it. Um, and you get the sense of this sort of mummified, ruined waterfall. This cliff being a dried uh, water feature at some point in its life. The Great River. As you look around the grounds around you, you can see. Um, what Scallop ascertained before, which is you're not seeing the foundation of this tower. You're only seeing it disappear into the sand. Or in quicksand or something. No, I think it's just iceberg. I think it's just hidden. Yeah, I think it's underneath us right now. That's like, what you got. Dungeon, it's underground. I think we're at. I the think because we we top. basically but we're, hiked we're up sinking. a mountain. We're I bet. sinking in the. Earth. Why do you think that? Did we? Did you well, say nothing that? else is like sinking into the earth? I think this whole thing is like it's built cubs, underground, or it was like over years and years and years. Or during well, there some is time. a really interesting yeah, graphic here. Yeah, I mean, here. look around here. <laughs> yeah, there is, that is a really true. interesting quicksandy yeah, looking. I didn't think like graphic, this, I think I think so. it's we're gonna get in there, and then it's gonna be a race to get out. 
is what I'm seeing. Well, we well, need that does. key. Once I get up in the nest, um, can I, I'm so going to start I'll, I'll say the all this out loud. if I see any other treasures. Yeah, as you look around, uh, as you look through here, what you find, uh, go ahead and make an investigation check for me. Speaking of um, treasures. Also, sorry, just logistically, I think I need Bonkers eating the bird, and once Bonkers has the bird fully in its mouth, I'm taking it into a staff, so it we can all fit all on fit. this right, right. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And I think it has an extra. The staff maybe has an extra like knot in it where the bird that lives is in Bonkers. Crazy, <laughs> and I love it. Um, absolutely, there is this strange, almost like shaped, like wings slightly coming out of mm. uh, of the staff. Um, as you, as Bonkers feasts upon the corpse of this bird and then turns back into a staff. Um, that's mm-hmm. nuts. <laughs> okay, very Sorry. cool. No. I don't think I Hats see off. anything. What'd I you get? Yeah, uh, six. Six. Um, you find bits of bones. Uh, you can see some sort of rusted pieces of different items. Um, but looking around... Uh, you do gather that Thaddeus has picked a couple things up out of the nest. What did you find? I found something that I think is quite uh, remarkable. This shield has some magic abilities that I'm very excited to toy around with. So in that moment, I'm going to start tinkering with it. So I put it. I'm going to take ten minutes and do your thing. Yeah, I feel like mm-hmm. we can. Like I feel like we should take a rest, right? Yeah, I'll. Let's rest oh. in the in the nest. Yeah, let's rest That's in the nest. Let's rest, rest in the nest, nest. and rest while we're in resting, in I'm going rest. to identify. To yeah, great. Ten I'm minutes. gonna but I, while identifying, I'm gonna start I flipping it over and start attaching it to my walk. Okay, gotcha. So rest. the shields. Like becomes. I'm trying to make it like become the walk. Very cool. Much. Very cool. You're um, cooking the shield. I'm cooking the shield. That um, come not come quite come as come big come as your gigantic walk, but you are able to kind of form it against the underside of this walk as you all take a breath up at the top of this bell tower. Um, as you're attaching it, scallop, you're able to focus on it, feeling the familiar sensation of your mind uh, almost half leaving this plane of existence and half entering this dream realm sensing what sort of magic is coming from this um, casting identify on it so we'll rest um, ten minutes later you discover that this is an animated shield Um, what that means is this is a shield that leaps into the air, mm. hovers in your space to protect you if you are oh. wielding it, leaving your hands free. Mm. Um, it remains animated for one minute uh, until you use a bonus action to end this effect or until you are incapacitated or die. Um, mm. This is uh, yeah, an arcane shield. Mm. So can I... Technical question. I don't really understand me, Macy, like the benefit of having your hands free. Like, I feel like, like I'm scallop carrying a shield and I don't. So, like uh, weapon. something like a two handed oh. weapon you would not be able to use if you were using a normal shield. Got um, it. I just kind of like the idea like of my. Or if you're using two, a weapon totally. in each hand. Yeah. I think that's why I'm, I'm into does this. Any, it's um, exciting. Does anyone use a two handed weapon? Yeah, does anybody? I, I'm no weapon. I'm no um, weapon. I th- I think I do. Yeah, great sword. Is that a two-handed weapon? Yeah, I do. Uh oh. <laughs> Why? I'm already. I'm. My shield is on. I'm well to get into. <laughs> my waffle <laughs> mask on. It's like uh, a perfect web, It's uh, a perfect thing for you. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, it's like already. Yeah. It, it's alright. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, that could have. Because if you're um, if you're using two fighter. hands, you could use like. Yeah, you power. might be up close and personal. Next time, though. Well, Next time we found a magic arcane yeah, shield. Yeah, it, goes to, yeah. it goes to Gigi. That's yours. Next Absolutely. Time. I mean, I, I can a... stop. <laughs> no, no, no. What's your armor class? Uh, it's sixteen. With the sh- and then the shield adds two. 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 So eighteen. Yeah, well, actually, you need uh, it. That's nice. Yeah. 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 That's fine. Um, can you go back to what was the what was this thing about the waterfall? We see it. Yeah. Waterfall? Is it when you say mummified? Like, is it just dry? Like, there's nothing yeah, there, or is it like there's a that. flow that's 
There is no water flowing off of that cliff face, but at one point, uh, it looks like it was a waterfall that went into this pool. Um, it seems almost oh, unnatural so in terms pool. of like the flow of water at the top of the cliff and where the water would go once in that pool. But um, in other ways, in all other ways, it gives just the evidence of there being a waterfall there at one point. Does it look like the waterfall from Haligar's stream? Go and make an insight or a perception check. Okay. Add disadvantage. Smart. Yeah. Well, we hate that. Perception is, I have advantage, so it's flat. Yeah. I hate Wait, exhaustion. it seriously needs to be the other dice. I, Does exhaustion only go away on a long rest? Mm-hmm. Oh. Not the two! And, and only one long at a time, so Macy will need two long rests. Uh, so nine. Um... Wake as up. as that we're gonna resolve happens. that, but in this moment, um, this is you so try sad. to reach your mind back into Haligar's dream, into the waterfall you saw there. Um, oh. It's just not the picture's not coming back to you at this moment. I'm tired. You're pretty tired, and in this moment. Oh yeah. So the downside, somewhat, of tough tummy is that I start like my my whole body starts rumbling. And rumbling, Uh-oh. and then I let out a monstrous burp and <laughs> fart. You guys oh, are all fucked up. Oh, yeah. What is wrong with I'm you guys? I'm guessing we're all in a 15 foot cone. Oh, yeah. Can you oh, scoot to there. the back of the nest, though, and do it off well, the back? I let it out, and we all like, are if knocked you feel prone. A burp. <laughs> <laughs> we're knocked prone. We pass out for like a second. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Does that yeah, show literally, us? literally, you all go unconscious for like. A few seconds, <laughs> and as you come to, there's Whoa, still this lingering, okay. horrible smell in the air as uh, you look up at each other. Where are we? <laughs> well, Dolly, you did something crazy back there. What the fuck was that? Wait, what, 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 oh what my god. Did you, like, it's putrid. I'm sorry, did you, like, shit your pants? Like, at, what I'm happened? Sorry. Like, I would, I'm sorry I would, to I would, have to ask. I would never do that. I've never done that in my life. You ate too many beans. <laughs> yeah. Let's just like in the future, can you seriously go like anywhere else to do that? Yeah. Oh wait. Oh sorry. Are you guys talking about when I farted and burped it? <laughs> Is it like, a, is it like then, 15 feet in each direction? It's a cone. Yeah. It's a cone. I, I think it is a cone direction. in each direction. Oh yeah. We God. all passed out. <laughs> like, oh, it it's was... pretty serious. I do think you should like try to use that in combat. <laughs> yeah, for for sure. I agree, but I also feel like I should start probably see like a physician. Is this only when you should rest? No, like, I've got a really that? good primary care physician. I was going to ask. I need a recommendation. Thank you. Is that what happens when you go big? And go home. Yeah, when I go big and go, go big, and go big and go home. I go back to my home. Oh my god! That, that was you returning to normal. Yes, <laughs> I'm back to my normal self. So when you Ooh, go baby. big, you just have a big gas bubble. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah. and then you gotta get it out. I mean, yeah, yeah it's not Next good to keep that stuff in. Next I'm searching the pharmacy for gas sex, just in case of <laughs> emergency. So we gotta get a camp. So you can use it in combat. Camp. You gotta get some gas sex, and I gotta yeah, get a camp quota. Yeah. Um. So we're taking a short rest, is that right? Is that okay? Uh, short rest is an hour. Uh, so you've taken 10 minutes to identify this and continue to rest. Yeah, um, kind of nestle the next in, hour. Like. Um, sort of huddling in here, there's a nice shade from this no conical roof. for a short rest. Um, I'm looking out there's for the whole time. Um, nice. no, no sort of tremors past yeah. the, the fart burp um, that uh, are shaking this tower. But looking up, the bell is sort of resting on this wood above you. As you rest for the next hour or so. I'm uh, looking for an hour straight at anything interesting because I have no need for rest. Anything? Anything. Love it. Gotcha. Anything. Um, anything unique? Anything. Go ahead and make anything. a perception check. A hundred perception anything, checks? Anything. Short rest doesn't do anything for my exhaustion, huh? No. Um, Great. You know what? Good. Hell. I'm going to use... How long does your thing last? Your bless? Thing lasts. Oh, concentration. I, I think she's over. She's you didn't probably, get a hit, though. She's so probably over 10 the minutes s- concentration. Well, you know, there's already been 10 minutes of uh, identifying this shield. So mm. I think the concentration is Oh, done. were you talking about Bless? Or? Yeah. Um, okay. Um, uh, 18. 18? Yeah. Um, okay. We'll go to the crossroads. <gasps> As you're looking around, 
rounds. Oh. Uh, and the rest of you are resting oh. for the next hour. Uh, oh, I'm feeling jolly. As you're looking around gelato. outside, uh, it's sort of panning across the horizon. Um, your eyes catch on something not on the horizon, but rather mm. something else sort of buried in this nest. Oh. Um, and we're going to go to this crossroads. What else is in the nest? A sweater or a snake? What? No. A sweater or a snake? <laughs> A sweater. a sweater or a you snake. You knit a sweater for Amber Cheddar, no? I did, yes. Thank you I for said, that, by the love way. I love my co-parents. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, well, well, resting, made a baby I'm going to pull out Amber Cheddar what? and just also give her a Bjorn. little room to breathe. Well, the yeah. baby Bjorn is a little uh, tiny fast yeah. if you pull out still just this little baby size uh, little raptor um, comes out, uh, seemingly waking up from a nap. As you, so you must have slept through that whole fight as you pull out of the pocket. Oh. Um, if I'm right, then Amber Cheddar was resting in the uh, studded jock strap. That's uh, yeah, and you pull her out. And, <laughs> uh, Forgot about that. The baby yeah, yeah, the baby. Uh, Are there any around. like eggs in the nest we could feed to Amber Cheddar? Um, looking around, eggs. I don't see any eggs. Mm. Can, uh, I, feed it, can eggs? I feed it mutton jerky? I think of course. Eat I'm gonna pull out Fufu and have them like play around with each other, right? and then I'm gonna yeah. feed them. Um, mutton jerky. Fufu, That's it. Fufu and it's Amber Cheddar are basically the same size. Um, well, wait, it was a, wait. I think it was in there before. I we had a whole thing where what? it ate the grilled cheese, and then you told us if it was an herbivore. Oh, oh, herbivore. I'm so sorry. Yes, it is an herbivore. You're, you're totally herbivore. right. As you pull out this jerky towards like, it, um, eggs Amber Cheddar seems to pay no mind to the jerky. <laughs> yeah, no, I, um, I couldn't have uh, talked to Amber I couldn't Cheddar more. I does so pay mind to Fufu like, and not, begins not, to like kind of hops out of scallops uh, oh. well, hands I call her and just gets down on the ground with Fufu and starts kind of doing dancing around with Fufu. Oh. Um, it's Fufu, nice. Fufu's little corkscrew tail is going just wagging. Aww, uh, they're uh, friends. As uh, Kiki Grape gets out and is uh, pulling her out and landing her, um, she falls not onto her feet but onto her back onto the nest. Just Honestly, cancel the rest of this journey. <laughs> We're staying onto her paws. And we're staying right when they play. Oh, so you're saying Kiki just showed up to the Kiki. Mm. <laughs> so... As Kiki goes I'm up in, uh, and just sort of <laughs> sniffing the air, goes up to Amber Cheddar and Foo Foo and s- sits lightly, just eyes kind of going back and forth. After um, that little arrangement, I actually would, would ask Kiki Grape if she could kind of go down the tower. I say, Kiki. If you could go do a little searching while we take a, a nap, that would be really helpful. And if you could bring up sort of anything that you find that would be helpful, you think, that would be great. Do you think you can do that? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Flies up into the air and <laughs> disappears. Wings. It's awesome. Disappears over the lip of uh, this tower and goes down as phylum. Looking around, um, these little animals are playing with each other, which draws your attention to the nest. Um, mm. Where you find a sweater. A sweater. The <laughs> looking in, um, a striped sweater. You see uh, this little package. The brown of the paper, uh, kind of wrapping it, uh, before had kind of disguised it against the bone and dried dust and uh, saliva of this nest as you pull it out um, it's sort of soft underneath um, there's a note a very weathered note underneath the paper as you pull it out um, as it says if you find this please send the enclosed sweater to my wife in the north edge plateau of Sharn her name is Ramilda Braganson. Tell her I died a quick and painless death, and I love her dearly. Lucinda Braganson. Um, and as you unwrap the package, um, slightly torn uh, from it being stuffed to make up this nest, inside is an old wool sweater with the letters R plus L 
over the heart. Oh, um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I put it on. As you put it on. That's dangerous. Um, I'm just. I have an hour to myself. All you guys are up uh, to nothing. It fits I'm just like a glove, bored. honestly, for you. As it, uh, the sort of soft, woolly, <laughs> woolen exterior, uh, a little scratchy against your skin, but it fits. It's a little mm. hot in this weather, but, um, but, kind of uh, cozy. I'm remind me. What was the name the, of the wife and the person? Um, wife, her name is Ramilda Braggenson, Uh and this note is written by Lucinda Braggenson. Okay. Ramilda I'm going to move Lucinda. over to Gigi, who's from Sean, correct? Mm-hmm. You bet. Can I talk to someone while they're resting? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like yeah sh- short, short rest is just, just like, like chilling. Take okay. a break. I'm, you don't need to be sleeping. I'm going to message you, so we're. it's in the mind. I'm just going to say... <sighs> Do you like my new sweater? <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. I like the initials on it. Do you know what I am? Resenda Lemerson or Rebelinda Melison? I forget the name. <laughs> you can I get, look at the name, yeah, probably. We, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> read it. <laughs> yeah, you, I'll, I'll hand over Remember. the note. Well, I can't read it. Gigi uh, cannot read it. Oh, I'll read it. <laughs> I'll whisper it. I'll message it to you. Yeah. Okay. Great. Ramilda What's the name Braggenson. 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 Ramilda Braggenson. Uh, go ahead and make a history check. What disadvantage? Well, your rest. This uh, sucks. This does suck. Nineteen. Five. <laughs> so eight. Nothing's coming to you at this moment. It's not <sighs> ringing a bell. Say, you know what? Nothing's really coming up right now. I say this in your mind. But I'm also feeling sort of tired, so ask me again tomorrow. Totally. And nothing feels magical about this item. About the sweater? Yeah. Um, no. But you well, then be, I'd say... But you better be careful around you-know-who with the you-know-what on your body. I would never give it to her. But she could still and try to... I... <laughs> peel it off. And put it in her bag. <laughs> in Scallop's oh, bag. My God. Oh my when God. You're not, this when you poor fall woman's asleep. Dead wife While I'm asleep. Okay. She's never Sweater. gonna find out. She's never we gonna find out. We can get it to her. We can give her a scrap. We can give her the scraps and the note and say, "Oh, I what happened to, to this friend. sweater?" I'm flabbergasted. I wouldn't. <laughs> oh. No, no, you're no. doing this while I'm asleep, though, intentionally. What? You're doing this while I'm asleep. Are you not asleep? Are you? Up to you. You can sleep I'm, during I guess I you would, don't have to. I guess I would just like tuck I like that it if in and I I'm assume you'll that. ask. Yeah. I assume you'll find out. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not know. being super secret. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that I care more about my friends than I do no, about no. a random person that we don't know. I see. What sorry. does the note say? It says, give this to my wife and they have very similar names. <laughs> okay. But we don't think we need to do that. I mean, okay, I'll, I'll take off. You said on the sweater there's initials or something? Yeah, over the heart there's an R plus I'll, L. I'll tear off the initials. I'll That's put it in my bag okay. and and a sleeve. I'll take a sleeve and you know. something and and <laughs> with the note back. and I'll um, Thank you. I'll take it and I'll say, <laughs> and if we ever find them, we'll just say that the bird fucked it up. All right. <laughs> That's a fair compromise. Incredible. Oh my God. As you all take this. Is that so wrong? About I mean, like, an hour. We're in trouble. We need to feast. Can Wool give her back exhaustion? <laughs> give her back exhaustion. <laughs> or un- undo exhaustion? It's like cocaine. Like, yeah. I'm just like. I'm going to say it subdues one level of exhaustion for one hour. What if I pour the hot honey vinegar? Whenever that I take I a bite. Whenever you on it. Uh, <laughs> for Will Salad. Yeah, will whenever. Salad. Uh, I, like, I don't want the, the sweater to be an everlasting font sure, of sure, energy sure. to you. Um, it's like cocaine, like you said. It's well, you, for you like 10 minutes. Tend to, right, right, right. You also usually maybe tend you, to eat them in one go. I was going to say, yeah, maybe you choose how many, like. I would say it can only give you that effect once every 24 hours. Okay. This. Wool. Okay. And, and can only cure exhaustion for an hour oh, once see, every 24 hours. And this okay. whole sweater would be one dose? 
Uh, well, it's just like, no, no. more it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, it's more, just, like, more doesn't matter. The body's readjusting from that, oh, that so we have sweet, sweet Unlimited doses from the sweater? Or? No. Not unlimited. No, <laughs> oh. but a couple. Okay. Okay, well, then I will wake you up, I guess, and let you know. Hey, that... Actually, I'm like... Black. <laughs> <laughs> um, I found a, a lovely something for you, and only... Seriously, only take it when you really need it. What is it? <laughs> show you know me. what it is. Show me. You know what show it me. is. Where is you it? Know what it is. <laughs> Where is it? You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I'm like, she knows what lap. it is. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. No, where is it? <laughs> oh, oh. Secret. Dream about Sneak it, it out. and see. There's only so many places it can be. <laughs> no, I'm like ravenously searching <laughs> everywhere. Uh, the the everywhere nest starts now. exploding as <laughs> Scalp is just wrenching things away, uh, <laughs> searching. Uh, but after uh, a minute or so of just ravenously looking around, you find it in your bag. <laughs> I would probably eat like a third of the sweater. Absolutely. Eating one third of it, you feel the sweet high just course through your spine, tingles up and down. Um, you are at one level of exhaustion now. Nice. That's better. You know what? For the next hour. Better. You know what? I feel a little better. I've kind As of you've finished your short rest, um, you can roll hit dice if you want uh, in order to heal up. Uh, That's good to know. You can roll hit dice if you if you need to heal up uh, on the short rest, but the short rest is done. It's two and times your And you have an hour of being... dice you have? What's your... Artificer, I think you're like a D8. Oh, yes, D8. So it could be 5D8. 5D8? Mm-hmm. Oh, what do you mean right? two you times? You want. Not two times. I messed okay. up. Spoke. That was that was too wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I said actually this, actually no. <laughs> I, actually, have, I have respect to that. I have respect for that. So you but finish the short rest. You forward. have one hour of uh, sort of the suppressed exhaustion from the wool high. Um, as you all gather yourselves at the top of this bell tower, what are you done? You guys, I don't know about y'all. I mean, what time of day is it? At this point, it's getting on. Um, Mid afternoon ish. Well, personally, I'm really tired. I would love to rest before moving on, like properly, get a couple of REM cycles in. But also. Wait, maybe that's what I want to do. Maybe I want to like sleep one night up here and then go down the trap door. I'm done with that. I need some rest as well. I feel like we kind of killed the thing that lives here and would be a threat. So we yeah. do have, we do still have the whole smoke out of the eyes thing to worry about. For sure. It is a risk to sleep. It's a big Definitely. risk to sleep. I feel like and I'm wondering like whether we weigh that against us being a little tired because we could just go down this trap door. And is there a trap door right here? Yes. I kind of just open it and look in. Oh, yeah. What Can I look in too? What do we see? Yeah, what's in there? Looking in as you... This trap door. Open. <laughs> we haven't opened it yet. <laughs> this large trap door. Um, what you see is a staircase heading down. Made of stone, seeming to spiral as it descends. I'm definitely feeling tired but also curious. Oh, speaking of, yeah. where's my cat? I blink my eyes through. So Opening up. Through her eyes. Um, go ahead and make a perception check. What are you What are you looking for with Kiki Grit? I told Kiki, like, I, I kind of wanted her to sniff out some, like, ma- like any magic items, any treasure kind of. Gotcha. Just around, try not to get into trouble, but, mm-hmm. you know. Um, perception? Yeah. Does Kiki have to roll? With disadvantage? No. Um. That's right. Is it? What's the perception of wisdom? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Um. Can she, can it be an investigation? Say with uh. Eleven. What is the investigation roll? It would make it thirteen. Okay. With that roll, um, Kiki flies around as you open the eyes on Kiki. Um, I, I mean, th- she can she get in the castle too, whatever she wants to do. Making strange moaning sounds as you look through her eyes as she's flying around. 
um, fly, flying around the base, um, there's not too much to be found. <laughs> there's certainly bones of animals, desiccated corpses, she finds another way and in. such. Are there? Um, a few rounds. We open the trap door. She down. sees that there is on this tower, uh, what you gather from seeing it, that there is at least one of these old bricks that is looser than others. Same. So there's a trap door, which is certainly a possibility, but Kiki has also found a loose brick in the bottom, whatever that means. Well, tell her to pull it. Or push it. Kiki. Push it or pull. I communicate to Push the first, then, well. Yeah, no, push first. Can you push the brick? <laughs> push first, then pull. With your head? Go and make an athletics check for Kiki, if you would. I guess if she pushes it and it gets stuck in 20. there, we're fucked. Dirty 20. Um, <gasps> as uh, she Kiki approaches does, it. Oh, no, you don't Kiki. have disadvantage, do you? Clawing That's at it. Awesome. Not for Kiki. Biting at it. Kiki she, forever. <laughs> with her wings sort of <laughs> against the tower. <laughs> Pulls the brick back as it <laughs> falls out, and uh, looking in is more brick. <laughs> Some loose bricks in there. Can she pull another brick? Can you, guys, you keep going, Kiki? This structure is going to fall apart. I think. <laughs> she crawls in and continues to pry at these bricks. You get the sense that it'll take a while. Okay. I, guess I mean, can we can just working. go down. Well, right. so I was saying, like, I would kind of like to sleep up here for the night and then go down. That's obviously personally guided. You know, right. there's, I've obviously got personal skin in the game there. But I also think, like, we kind of killed the baddie that lives here. But the smoke in our eyes is obviously an issue as well. But if we take breaks, as well. I feel like we'd be okay. I mean, we have a rope up. There's no risk really in going down, right? Like there's solid ground below us. It's mm-hmm. well. There's also uh, in this trap door. There's just stairs. Yeah. I say, Kiki. Wow. Will you come up here? I think the stairs you can are abandon more. Whatever you're doing. Ooh, flying up. <laughs> I guess I'm just worried about Kiki- like what if these birds are in a couple. I tell Kiki to go down into the stairs, and I look through her eyes. Wow. Going down the stairs. Um. As you peer through her eyes, you see this kind of enclosed space of this spiral staircase going down, down, down. As she continues down, fairly quickly, she leaves where the light is getting in. She can see somewhat far in front of her with a, a sort of faded hue, but it seems to just be a spiral stairs in complete darkness. She can. She has night vision. She has cat. dark vision. Yeah. Okay. She continues down. Mm-hmm. Um, she kind of gets up, flying down, hovering. Um, she continues down for several minutes until eventually she gets to a point where the wall opens up. Looking through her eyes, you see this entrance open up into a large circular chamber with the faded sort of black and white dark vision of this cat looking out. You just make out the blurry shapes, tall ceilings, you see shelves. You make out to be these shapes of shelves. Rubble. Burned refuse. Piled. I can cast a spell through her. It's okay. more familiar. So, what? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't huh? give that much Huge. to me. I don't think. Well... That's right. Will you search my phone, Dad? Will you look at Find Familiar? Find Familiar. That seems crazy. I mean, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, if you cast a spell, 
touch spells. You, says with a range of touch, your familiar can deliver uh, the spell as if it had cast the spell. So it must be mean? within 100 feet of you, oh. and it must use its reaction to deliver the spell. So, like, I could touch her, and then she could go... What does that mean? I think she has to be able to touch someone to do a spell. I don't think that you need to touch her. I think that... Well, she would have to be able to cast, like, pure wounds on someone Like, by if I wanted them. to cast Firebolt, if I wanted to cast Firebolt to, like, light up the room a little bit, uh-huh. she'd do that. The spell's range is touch, says Jay Dent, so I think not. Mm. Yeah. You, so Firebolt is not a spell that's range, range, range oh, touch. Oh, I see. Like cure oh. wounds, like inflict wounds, I like see. something you can do to someone by holding onto them. Yeah. Okay. But maybe we have spells um, that we Kiki can... Kiki gathers as but well. But it can only be her spells. This Wait, chamber she... is <sighs> spread out in this eerily quiet darkness in front of her. Um, and she also sees that the stairs continue to spiral down. I say, Jeez. Kiki, meow. Meow. <laughs> what did you say? I tell her to meow. Meow. <laughs> to see if anything pops out <laughs> or she makes noise. Meow. <laughs> Okay, so Kiki's down there in a big chamber. She went down the stairs, and she's in a big sort of room, and she's meowing down there, and she, nothing seems to be there. So, I don't know. This nest is a little gross. She's not in a room, though. She's, she's, like, on the stairs, and they keep going. She's at the entrance to this room. I think oh. we, we... I don't oh, go see in why the room, we don't Kiki. go down. Go in the room, Kiki. Because I want to rest. But it's, I think it's better to rest in a dark, quiet maybe cooler room than it is to nest in a nest of a bird which may have a significant other who could be feeding these babies. Yeah, I guess. We just don't know what's in the room. As Kiki enters the room, she gives another wow. And uh, your vision through Kiki goes completely dark. And then opens back up as you sense her kind of batting at some dust that got into her eyes. (laughs) You are crazy like (laughs) that. You are crazy like that. I think maybe we should go down. We could sleep on the stairs before the room after under the roof. Which is in the room though, though, and now sleep there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like sleep. On the on stairs, stairs just vision. under the hatch. It's like mostly horizontal. I'd love to, that's that was what I degrees. was thinking. I'd love to do a little sleepy sleep on the stairs. <laughs> that sounds amazing. The best place to sleep <laughs> ever. I think we can do it. For I'm my a little lumbar desperate, system. frankly. I'm a little desperate. No, I understand, my darling. Like, and what's the like rule? Can you imagine on, like, like playing many... a game for like 24 hours? You know, <laughs> it'd be kind of like that. It would be like that level of exhaustion. I couldn't vibes. ever imagine so I ever that. that. I think we should sleep on the stairs. I think we should sleep on the okay. stairs. Okay, I'm opening the hatch and I'm just gonna confidently like make big boy steps mm-hmm. down the stairs. Boy Amazing. steps. Big boy, boy steps, steps are occurring. Big boy steps. Very gendered steps. <laughs> Hugely gendered steps as you <laughs> descend. Um, as you turn it's around to the bend of steps. the spiral staircase, <laughs> kind of leaving the portion where uh, the sun oh. is hitting. Um, if you don't have dark vision, it's completely black, oh. complete darkness. Oh. Um, and <laughs> it does immediately feel cooler than the outside mm-hmm. as you enter into this dark space. Uh, but if you don't have dark vision, did none of us have like we all have like lights torches. or dancing lights? Yeah. I I, but I don't think I don't think we should light any lights. I think we should be very quiet, almost like we're not <clears> here. <throat> Stop immediately under the hatch and take a little sleep. A little snoozle, and if no one else is tired, I'll just take the. <laughs> <laughs> no, I fell asleep too. I need. To As sleep. you go down the stairs, uh, what's your marching order? What's the I order in first. which you go down? Thaddeus first. I'll go second. Second, file him. I'll go third. I think back. I'm not. I don't, okay. I don't think I'm convinced anything's bad. I'm gonna happen. go to a crossroads. <laughs> well, this is certainly making me feel like something yeah. bad is yeah. gonna happen. I lied. Crossroads is, kidding. how are the stairs? Doing great or about to crumble? Vote great or vote mm. crumble? Mm. No, I'm trying to sleep here. <laughs> <laughs> Sinks into the earth. Not my crumbling bed. <laughs> Been uh, there. Me too. <laughs> Your house. <laughs> Our house? What? Actually, your bed was much, bed? much... 
It was better? It was better this last time. I moved, well, it's like an old antique bed. So oh, the bed? Are like yeah, your bed was better this time. Out. You're just saying like that. No, no, I'm not. I slept actually well twice okay. out of two times. Oh. That's oh. great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's like complete success. <laughs> yeah, it was, mo- it was good. Did Bear sleep with you in bed? Or did he go to his bed? He, uh, one on one. Mm. First gotcha. night he was independent. Yeah, Second yeah. night he needed something. Yeah. <laughs> Which is all good. Um, great, 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 crumble, great, crumble. Crumble, crumble. Oh, look. And, and crumble. Just barely doing great. You descend the stairs in the darkness. We love it. Holding on to each other. Thaddeus leading the way. Um, Thaddeus, do you have anything to guide you? Wait, Thaddeus is leading and doesn't have any dark vision? Um, yeah. As you something? descend Uh-oh. into the darkness, oh, everyone something. holding onto shoulders, box? it immediately becomes oh. completely dark. Can I... Is my walk ready to be independent? Now what Your shield would always um, be, I think. I would say... Yeah, you had a short rest to a full hour, so if you wanted to attune to it, then you could. Okay, I was doing that. Great. Okay. I'm gonna let it go a little bit ahead. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of oil in, just some uh-huh. regular neutral oils. Nothing with a bold flavor or anything, and I'm just going to light, Ooh, light cool. it. Okay, gotcha. Um, if you have that, those in your inventory, go ahead and knock them off as you light it and send. Seeing your walk floating for the first time, this shield with the initials on the front, Loading down in front of you, lightly lighting your way exactly until you reach this landing. Sleep. Yeah. Or you see so I'm a scared it's gonna a creature well, guys, come around the corner, oh. Oh. peeking its head. You see Kiki Grape. Oh, oh my god, oh. Eric! <laughs> As you reach the landing, and with this light, can look into this large circular interior of this room um it's almost strange the way the structure seems to have widened as you've descended into it coming out of the staircase and looking in this is a a large circular chamber in here um with the lights you can see that they're lining the walls are what used to be um stacks books top of which are piled um, many crumbled burned remains of books and scrolls I mean here's the thing you guys I'll say it I, I guess I'll say it so here's the thing you guys nothing nothing dangerous is happening right not yet I don't have to rest I wonder if I just... You'd watch? I wonder if I just go. Go? For like eight hours and just look we're for whatever we're looking for. I mean, you could no, stay no, in here no, and read no, these no, books no, no, for no, sure, no, no, but no. you can't go off by yourself in an underground castle. We don't know what's down there, Phylum. You can't go by yourself. It's not safe. But I feel You're like being crazy. How long ago was the seer destruction? The year right now is 998 YK. The morning happened in 994 YK. The war was officially ended in 995 YK. So the morning happened four years ago. Wait, so okay. Do you but think anything I, could be living down here for four years? Yes. Yes. For yes. Sure. yes. But they're underground, <laughs> and this used to be and they were the monsters. They're monsters. You're forgetting that we live in a world with monsters, and this used to be like the monsters the, have to eat, right? Do they have to eat? This is also a library, it right? On the Maybe we should look. A, you know what would be helpful is if we slept and you looked through this library for what we need, which is a key yeah. and a... That's what I'm saying. I'm saying whatever. I should go and look. No, but in you this can't room. leave this room. There's you a ton of watch and things. Slash. Okay. Okay. I, well, I, I will... I'll... 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 Yeah. I'll I also say, I won't leave the rest. room. Oh, okay. Well, that's a different Maybe thing. Maybe we go together and we only look within this room. Mm. And I message you, and maybe adjacent rooms. <laughs> and we come back with anything we find so we can get a head start when you guys are all rested. I really quickly, the, the room around us, what we're seeing, does this look like what I saw in 104's 
dreams. Uh, insight check. I feel like there was like books or something. Y'all heard of books? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> heard and forgot. <laughs> Shoot, I have disadvantage. Mm. Mm. 13. 13? Um, yeah. It's hard to say exactly that you feel confident about that. This room is in a state of uh, extreme decay and disrepair, but it might be. I I just, I'm gonna go over to Phylum separately. I love that you are in your adventuring era. I really do, you know that I do, but I'm really not feeling well. I really feel like if something went wrong without rest, like. I'm not gonna be able to help at all. And I do think that we make a really great team, the four of us. And this place kind of gives me the spooks for a, like, I hopped into one of four's dreams and there was kind of something about books, I remember. And you guys like, also, and, and I just. Have you told me this story before, I wonder? I think that I said that after I hopped into one of four streams, I relayed everything to them. Yeah. I wanna also say, say I'm really scared to sleep. Last time I slept, yeah. I think no. I'm that's really the reason. Tired. That's another reason you can't leave the room is because what if one of us wakes up and it's the other? You have to other? administer the potions. Okay. Well. Mm. Well. If you guys are in an adjacent room and Gigi I, wakes up with friggin' smoke in her eyes and kills me, you're gonna feel bad. But here's what I'm scared about, you guys. We have a entire group of other people coming after us on the same fucking mi- the same mission. We need to get in here, get what we need, and get out. A day in between could lead us to this group of Emerald Claw, which we don't want to get involved in. Mm. They know where we are probably more than anyone, too, and everyone knows where we are because we shot this thing into the fucking sky last night. Right. We've got to, like, get this fast. And well, I start looking and around I'm going to try and remember everything she told me from last night and see if I can just, like, try and remember what you said about your dream. Which if dream? I can. Which dream? 104's dream. I'm not, me- I'm not positive I relate it to everyone, to be mm. honest. I think I, I think I did, but I'm not If positive. she did, then it was not in excruciating detail to the point where you would be able to tell if this was the exact place. Can I own. check? Um, can I try? Go ahead and make an insight check. Scared I'm gonna use magical guidance. Last time. I just feel like we have to. Something bad's gonna happen. I feel like if we wait. I think I'm gonna get another level of exhaustion. I think I, something bad's, bad's gonna, gonna happen. Why did you're saying I got exhaustion because I couldn't fall asleep last night? Why mm. did you get exhaustion? Okay, no. Even with I magical exhaustion, exhaustion from, it, or magical uh, guidance, Eric, it's not. If I'm wrong, but didn't I get exhaustion from having that bad dream? Where that I fought my brother, mm. so it's like trying to give me a long. Either rest. way, it's not great, and, and it couldn't, in fact, be give me a second level of exhaustion. I'm well, gonna, wouldn't I'm that gonna, be the pits? What? I think so. I I messaged. I did poorly, and, and I don't think I'm gonna remember. Scallop anything. got a level of exhaustion from failing on a roll to do with the potion that she drank, and I think I'm gonna say, even though she's gone to her, I think I'm gonna say, okay. We'll all rest. And I'm going to message you. I don't want to rest. I'm going to message you and I'm going to say, let's go for it in like an hour. That's bad. That's bad. We could kill each other. But I, what I mean, I'm going to, I plan to let bonkers, to tell bonkers to restrain mm. anyone who has the black I don't think I want to sleep. Eyes. Anyways, I say, I don't think I can sleep. I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. Well, if, if ja- Jackie did something bad behind your back. What did you do to me, you naughty girl? I didn't do anything to you. Well, okay, well, you did your thing. Tell me what it is, and then you probably what ruined I said my was, idea. I said, okay, well, I'll go to bed, and we'll do it together. And then I messaged Thaddeus and said, in an hour, we're going to go for it. Okay, well, I didn't see any of that. I'm, I have an idea. I seem to be the only one that actually really wants to sleep. What if one of you puts me in the baby Bjorn? And I can sleep. I'm I'm three feet tall and like sixty pounds. Is someone beefy and can carry me? I'm you know thick, but I'm only three feet tall. Thick. 
Can someone put me in the baby Bjorn and I'll try to sleep? We could put her on bunkers. Let's strap it above you. But you have to be, we have to strap you, yeah. We, I'll say, I'll, okay, but we have to That's probably tie you to him good. so you can rest. Like, if you're not, you'll fall off. <laughs> I'm imagining it's kind of like a baby Bjorn jock strap, so I'm kind of imagining it just like holding me in around the waist, and then that would actually allow a lot of like awesome, like, Stretches. getting getting comfy mo range of motion. But on a snake? He's very um, oh, yeah, windy, you so you him. might, your body might. Twist. If, so, if you're nimble. Who do we have? What so are, we are, are you not willing about? to carry me? I think me? only Bonkers can hold you, probably. You could hold her. Why don't you carry me? You could put her on your back. How? Like, what are the mechanics on holding someone? What do you want to do? Like, if I were to like carry you while s sleeping for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> for eight hours, I'm probably gonna have you make some when checks you there like to that. see if you're gonna be okay. When Here's what I'll say, say to you. Like I'll, say, I'll say this to you. Okay. I'll leave you with Bonkers, and he will make sure that if the black smoke comes, he'll restrain you the whole time, and he'll just make sure that he won't attack you. That's terrifying. He won't make. He'll make sure nothing bad happens, and you guys, you know, you have trust. Me too. And I'll leave Kiki Grape too, and you yell at Kiki Grape to come get me. Yeah. If you need something. Okay. And I'm just not sure that I can hold you for eight hours straight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't know. Now I'm like, I don't know if it's worth it, but. I'm just scared. I, last time I tried to sleep, I was like crushed by a boulder. Yeah. <laughs> it was horrible, and I heard the voice of my dead brother. I don't want to go back there. How does exhaustion work, like, mechanically? Like, is it, like, every night that you don't sleep, you get another point of exhaustion? Um, yeah, it's a it's a saving throw at the end of the night to see if you're succumbing cast, to that exhaustion. on yourself. The next well, one is disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. That's oh. level three. Okay, mm. after all this chat, I guess... Let's just keep going, and if we get to the, uh, if we get to the end of this night and we haven't had the opportunity to sleep, I don't care where we are. I'm laying down and going to yeah, sleep. Yeah, for sure. Tonight, when it gets to tonight, it's midday, so we'll maybe just spend the rest of the afternoon poking around, trying not to get in any big trouble. Yeah. yeah. And maybe if we let you ride on bonkers the whole time, even if you're not resting, you just won't get as tired walking around. Is that true? I don't think that like matters really, but. Um, I'm so sorry. Is like if she doesn't have to walk, she can just ride on bonkers, but sort of be like mostly awake. There, brain there'll be a roll. It won't be a high roll, but there'll be a roll to see if you're able to get good rest while strapped to a gigantic snake. Oh, if you Eight want to hours of snake. rest. It's not. He's not making it sound bad. I, well, I, but I stick to what I said before. It's like, I'm actually, okay. I actually don't think that's worth it at this point. Like, I start, to potentially yeah. be crushed under a snake. I'm feeling like <laughs> <laughs> maybe we just go for it and then. Okay. Deal with the repercussions. Yeah. Okay. I start looking around the room, like all in all the books and things. But do you have to take magic? Yeah. Maybe we should just turn that on. Sure. I, um, I, uh, I also light a, a candle or a, I don't know, one of those things I have. Um, yeah. We've been trying to get into this library for like Yeah, let's so look long. around. I actually don't really have... Oh, no, I have a tinderbox. Um, and a torch. Yeah, I have a torch. I, I light I light a torch. Just and kind of set it. Or hold it. For, I actually just give it to that. I mean, I can see. I give it to you. Why don't we all take one? Let's all take a torch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm actually not um, going to turn on guiding detect magic because... If we run into any trouble, I'm gonna be. You could catch a ritual, right? Oh, sure. I don't know. Can I? Um, detect casting magic ritual? detect magic as a ritual. Um, mm -hmm. Why does that sound like can to me? You can. I think <laughs> you can. Woo! -hoo! Ten minutes, and you start to cast detect magic, sending out the sensation around you as your companions. Light their torches and leave the spiral stair area. 
entering into these broken stacks. Um, I'm going to have all of you make investigation checks mm-hmm. for me. Can I do find traps as ritual? Um, so you would cancel out the detect magic to oh. find traps because I think both are concentration. Okay. You could do that one first and then detect magic. Find traps is probably better for us at first. More immediate vibe. Yeah. Okay, everyone just sit still for 20 minutes. <laughs> As everyone pauses uh, <laughs> on their way out. Um, find traps is not ritual. Oh. Um, you would have to never cast second level spell. Ten. Just detect magic again. Yeah, never mind. Very good. Okay, what was the check? I will look for traps. Perception. Um... Go for it. Go to me investigation. I only got a four. I got a 15. I got a seven. I got a um, 17. On checking for traps, Gigi? That was um, what that, that was? No, that was whatever the first perception Investigation was. for just looking yeah. through things in and general. And if anyone's looking for traps, another one. Because oh, I can't do anything. I, okay, I rolled perception. I'm, I, I got a, a yeah, I messed I tell, you Can up, I tell though. Kiki Grape to look for traps? Yeah. Okay, here's... I have a 21 on investigation, but a 7 on perception. For So. We're doing investigation, right? Yeah. Mine's the same way. 17. Wait, yeah. why did you roll again for. I'm we confused. We thought we had the check wrong. I'm confused. Gotcha. It's investigation. 17. 17. Mm, forget about me. I, <laughs> I fucked up. Um, but is there two checks? Is one for just looking around the room and one for traps? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was just having you do a second one for traps. Okay, but can they do? Can they look for traps too? I'm gonna have it kept to you for this. Okay. Um, which you rolled a seven. Yeah. You didn't find anything. So looking around, investigations that you got for looking through the stacks. There's 15? definitely some 15, traps. Fifteen, seventeen. I, I got a twenty-one on the trap looking, but I don't get to do it. Well, why can't you look for traps? Can I look for traps? Yeah, we'll say the two of you look for traps. Can 21. I take the 21? 21 look for traps looking through the stacks. What'd you get? 17? <laughs> yes. Are, are there two separate roles going on? I'm Perception and investigation, I think. Okay. No, but we're right? only no, no, doing no. investigation. No? I'm so sorry. <laughs> we confused. <laughs> investigation is the only one, but Isabel and Jack are willing to find traps because... That's what they said they were going to do first. Okay. Macy and Jordan, you're looking through the stacks. 17 looking through the tri- stacks. 15. 15. Nice. As you all venture yep. forward into this room, um, Phylum and Gigi going out ahead of you, you find remnants of some burning, mm. some fire that was here. Whole bookcases are toppled over. Some remain standing, but their shelves are laden with dust. Hmm. Um, Hmm. Dust hangs in the air in this room. It's stuffy. You do not find any traps as you poke around going forward. Um... Seventeen, fifteen. Um, I'm gonna go to a crossroads. What do they find on the first floor? What do you find? A guide to the tower's layout, vote guide, or an ancient welcome? Mm, give us the map. Vote guide or vote welcome? <laughs> yeah, I want map. <laughs> you know in Shrek, the little like thing that do lapis. Yeah. Do lapis. That's the welcome. I want that map. <laughs> this cave is. This cave is. It's a perfect is, place. This cave is a perfect. Oh, last place. time I brought it. I gotta bring it back. I brought it last time. Um, we'll bring it next time. The cantrip candle, the like dungeon oh, depths yeah, yeah, yeah. candle. It's fun. There's this company that makes these candles that are like dungeon scented. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, like. Mold no, and <laughs> there's like Evil. different ones for like diff- they're all D and D. It's like wait, like that's cool. Or like forest or like, and I got Eric one that was dungeony. It's like it's like musky kind of. Mm. It's not bad. Sounds good. Mm. With that, it's not like a choice burn. As for just fine that musky, yeah. Sure. You begin to parse through these old scrolls. I will also say that I'm looking. I have 
ulterior motive for most things. Do tell. I, from the get-go, I'm looking for ancient cooking books and recipes. <laughs> Absolutely. So if there's anything... Man, you got to follow your passion. Looking through, um, kind of parsing through these different things, um, you find a large desk. You could desk follow elsewhere. Kind of yeah. covered in these different books and things strewn about. Um, as you see a thick stock paper sticking out from under some books, um, almost reminds you of a menu. As you bring it out, you find... Looks like a very... Um, quick guide <laughs> to the layout of the tower that you are in. Oh, all right. Shut um, up. <laughs> as at the top of it, it says, Welcome to the Halls of Maythor. Well, guys, um, um, what I thought was recipe ended up being just a map of the whole place. <laughs> <laughs> as you see, a very kind of uh, a basic map of these sort of uh, four circles. <laughs> Is there a cooking section? Um, as you look, you see a uh, like fourth level. floor uh, labeled historical archives. Uh, underneath which you see third floor, arcane and divine archives, comma, high appraiser's office. Um, second floor, cultural archives, in parentheses, recipes, music, rituals, etc. <gasps> um, and ground floor, folklore. <laughs> um, folklore. Can you say this again? We do yes. love folklore. Fourth floor, Wait, historical on. archives. Oh, folklore. Oh. He loves fork lore. Fork lore. Fork lore. <laughs> okay. So stupid. Okay. Whoa. Sorry. Fourth floor. Tell us again, please. Fourth floor. Uh, historical archives. Third floor. Arcane and divine archives, comma, high appraiser's office. Second floor. Cultural archives. Parentheses. Recipes, music, rituals, etc. Ground floor, folklore. Oh, well, we are so going should we to the first that? floor. Oh, I'm already. No, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, I bet what we need is on the first floor, but I'm, that wasn't well, like a we, directive. Do we have the letter again? The what? Where are our artifacts? I mean, the, our oh. artifacts are in our binder. Yeah. I don't know. This is a <laughs> binder. It's always a. Oh, that's right. I feel like while everybody is kind of figuring out what to do, I'm slowly backing up and finding my way to the second floor as fast as I possibly can while backing up. Is no your up out that. of the room. Is your detect is her detect magic on? Mm -hmm. Um it is. And in this area, you're not picking anything up. With a 17 investigation check, however, just kind of looking through burnt manuscripts, scrolls, different things. Um, you find something um, partially burnt uh, label on the title cover, um, record of Lepidomini observations. Oh. Quick thumb through. Yeah, as you uh, look to open it, um, you find that there is a latch and a lock on this book. What does it look like? Just a normal lock, just a latch that comes a around lock. the front cover and keeps it closed. Mm. Whoa! Gotta get that open. Wait, wait, wait is it, it part of our big thing? mission, a like key. a key to open a book, though? Well, it, um, no. It's we need the, the we do need a key. But it's for the. Um, but it's for. Her. When the three-handed key is turned twice and back again, when the gate with no lock is opened at the mouth of the river, and the flame shines on the lightless temple, the heart of the dragon above wakens, awakens. Hmm. So I think. Three-handed key. The three. So it's got to have three prongs. Right. I mean. Yeah. Three-handed key is the word. Well, I guess hand. Maybe that's not the hand, though. Maybe the hand is... I thought that this would be the teeth, yeah. I also have locate object for what it's worth, but limited smell slots, so... Uh, Should we think about, like, also this high appraiser? That seems yeah. like there's a person who is living here, or a creature that's living there's here. There's definitely an off... Yeah, the, Wait, the where office. did you see that? High it appraiser. says the third off the third floor is arcane mm. archives in a high appraiser's office. Mm. I feel like that... Whoever goes to that floor, and I'm suggesting we split up. 
I feel like whoever goes to that floor. Two and two. I have to. Uh, For sure. We don't know what's lurking. When in we these came steps. into the city, like we saw the the dry riverbed, right? Like we kind yeah. of maybe know the where the mouth of the river is, right? Yeah. So a dry riverbed. Okay. So we have that solved. Um, what else do we need? We need the key. Yeah, we need the key bad. And what else do I we need, need? The gate with no lock. The gate with no lock. Which the maybe map. we're not even, we don't even know what that is yet. Well, there's also this thing of like the, when the... Also, we don't know the mouth of the river. We just know where the river is. The begins. artifact and the... Cl- I mean, well, the, the mouth is where the, it begins, we right? Yeah, but we weren't at medallion. the medallion. But we saw that there was a river. But we don't know, yeah, where, we don't know where the mouth of it is. No, but we know to follow it. That's right? true. Sure, but it could go in so many directions, you know? Okay, the artifact and the clues it holds once combined with the key and information in the Towers of K. So I think Information in the... I think we're not even trying to find anything about the information here. Yeah. I think we should go down a floor because you guys both looked well in here. So yeah. you, we got two things, so I'm like, let's bop down to three. I'm gonna say... Last thing that I'm like... I just want to flag that I'm looking for on this floor and every floor is what Amy said. Just She just was like, look into the river. I forget exactly what she said, but mm-hmm. uh, what did she say? Does anyone have it written down? The Great River. Great River. What We're looking at you. I, know, I think we found it, but if for, I see anything. Um, information gotcha. About? Some information about. Um, A Great River. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Rithandra is what yeah. she that referred to it as. Um, very good. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, you found this book with the latch on it, uh, Record of Lepidomini Observations. Um, and Can I cast Identify on it? Yeah. Spending ten minutes uh, to ritual cast it if you'd like. Um, casting this. You don't find any magic. Okay. I'm going to make my way to two. What two? if we go to three Four, first, love? What if we... I mean, you said you snick, snuck oh, away, right? I, I snuck forgot. away. I, I'm, I'm already on my do way. Do we there. see that? Yeah, like, do we know? Um, I have to say, with your torches out and there being only four of you. Uh, well, wait, we make, have torches. Don't we all have torches? And I have dark vision. I'm yeah. just going to turn on Fufu, which means I'm just going to put a light on her tail. Go and make a stealth check to see if you escape their notice, if that's what you're trying to do. I am. Okay, well, that is a. 18. 18? Uh, what are your passive perceptions? Not that. How do I know what that is? It's not that, I bet. Okay. Probably. It's like... Um, it's like your wisdom plus... Yeah, 10 plus... 10 plus... Bop, 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 10 plus wisdom modifier. 14. You kind of replace your light with Fufu's light and... <laughs> duck down into the staircase descending below as you're going down um, you come to another uh, landing you have your animated shield with you casting this light um, do, you want to to- do you need to get out? you can, you can go yeah, yeah. yeah go this way but you just watch out for the to, court bro. yeah yeah no worries closer and say hi <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, I, I know, the cords are really the biggest trap. <laughs> <laughs> um, you come to a landing um, down below. Uh, as you having this kind of uh, guide to the tower now, um, yeah. you ascertain that this is the third floor. Uh, it was labeled as Arcane and Divine Archives, comma, High Appraiser's Office, um, we were on the third floor. You were on the fourth floor. Oh, okay. So well, now you've reached the, the fl- landing of the third floor. If you're keeping going on your own. I'm going to just give it a, a quick glance, especially okay. looking for... If I see something saying high appraiser's office, I'm going to assume that somebody was or is here. Okay. You bring out your shields. I'm actually, I'm actually at this point, I'm just going to keep my shield on here. I'm just going to use Fufu. As, oh, gotcha. Because I can Fufu make I can make a light shine on a, if, by magic tinkering. It's Fufu. She's just my, with you my flashlight. And you get... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait, no. There it is. Uh, sends out a little bit of light into this room. 
And here, the tower widens even more. And the stairs lead into this wide open room, dotted with glass cases, most of which are shattered on top. Yeah. Dust caking everything in sight. An opposite staircase, looking out from this little entrance onto the third floor, looking out opposite, straight across, is a flat wall and a hallway leading directly to one large wooden door. And the stairs continue down. What is you there a light on in that door? Or is this just... Doesn't look like it. I'm curious. I'm going to go. <laughs> go to the wooden door. As you continue on, um, you pass um, all these different, they seem to have been at one point display cases, large, um, almost cabinets, broken dust, ash inside of them as you venture forth into this hallway, narrow, leading towards this one tall wooden door. We're on the, you open the door. Did we go down the floor? I think no. we're still on the same floor. I, no, we're on I, he snuck away. I snuck. Away. I snuck. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Um, hello? Is um, <laughs> there a high appraiser here? If not, I'm going to go downstairs. I just know, want you to know I'm here. <laughs> and that um, I'm not trespassing. I am just looking for amazing recipes to bring back home. <laughs> okay. As you knock on it. And also, I'm with... You uh, see that it lightly... Oh, what? Just oh. from the force of the knock. Oh, hello again. <laughs> Expert. Um, it opens just an inch. There's no light within, and no answer. Hmm. Um. Get in there. Um. Um. Yeah, this is where I was like, maybe I should have my friends with me. I'm gonna. Okay, well, if that's it, I'm gonna come in. Come in, I guess. Opening this tall wooden door. You see an office. Oh, wow. Large wooden desk. Broken in the middle and slanted in. You see beyond. Uh, very noticeable is a tall window. The glass is entirely shattered and there is rubble, rock, and sand caving in to it. There is ash and dust all around. But the most noticeable thing is that there is a small, almost like a half globe, a dome on one section of the desk. As you enter, it lights up. Oh, as you see a milky white cloud inside of it. And you see people of an eye go down to you, walk in on you. Uh oh. Before Uh-oh. you see this dome melts away, dissipating. What the? Leaving behind on the desk, slightly slanted, a small scroll. Tied together. I'm gonna quickly take that, leave, and go downstairs. <laughs> so it up. Go to the floor I wanted, and I'm gonna open it and like shakily read it as I'm walking down the stairs. Like, what was that? <gasps> 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 <A real> scroll. <laughs> oh my god. Caprese salad recipe. Yes. <laughs> Caprese salad recipe. Caprese salad recipe. You already know that one. You made it. You okay, made so that for us. I, I want like a I want like a turmeric chicken <laughs> fricasse. Something. I don't know. Something in that. A okay. Fricasse. A fricasse. I'm gonna read it out loud while I'm walking down the stairs. Tafufu. 
to Fufu only. Fufu, <laughs> listen closely. <laughs> My friends, please don't be alarmed. You will come to me. And when you do, you must convince me for my aid on matters regarding the key. Uh. If you wish to prevent the potentialities of war and you wish to understand further what strange force is invading your minds, please come find me. Below a mundane shelf of scrolls masks the entrance. Share any secret uh. knowledge to pass the impassable door. <gasps> Travel below and approach the lumine. The what? The, the lumine. Sure. Yeah. Dip your he- heads together and don't be afraid. I unknowingly shall be waiting. Speak the name Bastion and I will listen. That's High appraiser Morrison. And look at the signature right there on the back. Morrison. Al Hash Tavar. <gasps> Al Hash Tavar. Oh, that's what we were Tavar. saying. Oh, no, that's Tavar. the word that they kept repeating. They, they kept repeating. Ilash Tavar. <gasps> okay, well now what I have this, and you guys yeah. don't. As we oh, cut up back to the fourth okay. floor, um, at, I think it's at this point that the three of you realize that the fourth is missing. In a minute. Oh. Thaddeus, baby, Dad. I say, I know he went down to the recipe's floor. And I yeah, just probably crazy. go down uh, a staircase. Yeah, we'll all go together. I mean, yeah. geez. Okay. Do you want to come with five? Uh, what floor are we on right now, again? We're on for a four. Which is? It's for the first floor, or the top floor, and he's on is, two. Is that cultural or historical? Or? Yeah, we are in historical archives. Um, so I think, you know, he's probably on culture, is my guess, but we okay. can stop by the recipes. I feel like maybe I'll stay and just look around. I don't know if we've looked around enough yet. I feel like historical archives, we, we don't really know anything about this place. Okay. Whatever you say, okay. just... And I've got, you know, my friend. You've got bonkers. Call out if you need anything. Yeah. I'm going to stay and, and do a... Thorough scan of of okay. historical archives. As the two of you descend the stairs, um, leaving Phylum, if I'm good, just make an investigation check for me. Please. <laughs> Twenty-two. Not too shabby. What? Oh. Yeah. Twenty-two. Um. You spend the next ten minutes or so. You like her. <laughs> um, just picking out a table, picking out a stack, picking out a certain section of this room to just really dig through, to dig through to the bottom of these piles, see if there's things that have been left, um, sort of uh, in, in more intact than others. And before long, you find that you are looking at. Uh, this bound in a kind of archaic way uh, collection of maps um, this sort of atlas of sorts as you look and open it up you see a map of uh, Corvair, the continent that you are on um, cool. while looking at it this is from another age uh, mm. This the, the yeah. lines of demarcation of the nations is completely different um, you see that there is the label over all of it the kingdom of Galifar um, as you see these different borders and kind of mm-hmm. travel to a different age and sort of flipping through these different maps um, you see maps of far off places uh, these being much less detailed than the Corvair map uh, maps of Zendrik this continent uh, said to be home uh, civilizations of giants um, you see uh, the roughest outlines of the frost fell. Uh, you oh, see uh, various different continents, um, but with a 22 investigation. Give um, me something. Good. You flip through, <laughs> and after several minutes, um, the thing that sparks in your mind is seeing um, the word Rathandra. 
written on a map. The words that Amy had sent to you. Mm, Something to look into. The river. The big river. Meaning great river. As you see it on this map, this almost sort of vague map, uh, rough outlines, few details, just some names written on it. But over the top is the label, Arganesson. Arganesson? Go ahead and make a history check for me. <laughs> Arganesson. 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 Farmer phylum. Arganesson. Arganesson. 18. Arganesson. I speak... You've heard of this. I speak quarry. You Not speak quarry? What? Quarry, draconic, common... What's quarry, though? This well, does not ring a she bell um, in terms of quarry language. This yeah. rather rings a bell in your studies of draconic history. Mm. Okay. Okay. Corvair and is not a place. It. Corvair, the continent that you live on, is not a place where sightings or interactions with dragons is commonplace. There are few, few on this continent that can say, in truth, that they have ever seen a dragon before. They're... Hmm. The world of dragons is something that exists more in the realm of myth than anything. And the mythology of dragons... I don't believe that. ...includes <laughs> tales of the land of Arkanesson. Arkanesson. The realm of dragons. The realm dragons. A continent unto itself... Enormous islands. Somewhere Alicia. off the coast of Corvair. Thanks. This is a place that few, if any, dare to travel to. It is said that most, if not nearly all, of the dragons in Eberron live on this continent and have civilization of their own making. So you see... Various oh. little landmarks pointed out <laughs> on this continent. You see that there is this river snaking up from the southern coast of Arganesson. The river's on the dragon continent? It is labeled or- Rathandra. Oh. oh my god. That is what you gather as oh, we are Gigi and Scallop. Far away. <laughs> making a journey. Gigi and Scallop, you continue down. You, guys, you find yourselves at do. the landing uh-huh. of this we like, oh, the river? Uh, third we saw it. floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> coming down just as you a hear uh, uh, coming down the stairs. <laughs> I've seen a river. <laughs> through the dark. Easy. Coming down the stairs through the dark, um, the two of you uh, hear nothing but the sound of your own footsteps against the stone until you begin to hear the sound of a voice echoing through these ruins, bouncing off the walls until they reach your ears. You hear the sound of Thaddeus reading aloud to Fufu the pig. (laughs) Um, Catching just the end of it, as you reach the landing, you find yourself face to face with Thaddeus. (gasps) Still on the third floor. Hi. You okay? Yes. Hey, I think we should use the buddy system here. You can go off For and explore real. things, but two at a time, baby. Guys, I just got really excited. You know, this is... For sure, and we want you to find the recipes. We don't want you to die. Okay, well, can we just go down and I can tell you all about this letter that I just got from a strange being that showed me just its eye. <laughs> but I need to look at some recipes while we do it. Ah, okay. uh, 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 we go down to the second floor first. Okay. Okay, sure. Did you see any? Can we check in on the third floor really quick? No, no, no. I, I Everything is in here, darling. I swear. We have to go to the second floor because I'm afraid if we stay up here, you'll never let me go down to the second floor. Wait, and then I'll live my rest of my life without being able to go down to the, the second arc, floor. I need to go to the second floor, floor now. <gasps> okay. Okay, but if I die on the second floor, you owe me. Can I actually just stay up and look around on the third? You oh my go god, what happened to the buddy system? <laughs> I got Kiki. Okay. Let's no, let's let's all go together and then we'll all come back up and then we'll meet. Okay. We have to go back to the second floor. I mean third floor because there is something in here that you guys are want to want to know about. Okay. Okay. But second floor. Second floor it is. Second Continuing floor. to descend down with your torches lit, the fire crackling and bouncing against the sort of black blue strange sheen of the walls in here. Whatever sh- sort of 
material this library is made out of would ever kept it intact, even as it has seemingly descended into the ground. You continue down and reach another landing. As you look out from the entrance here. Okay. I'm... Yeah. Can I look for recipes? And what I you see in here, ritual section. as you look into this section, again, this dust hanging in the air, you see a maze of aisles between high cabinets and drawers. Nearly all of them are caved in, seemingly broken with force by some physical power. Most of their contents seem missing or burnt to ash, but you are free to make investigation checks. Can I have Kiki look for me? So Kiki, yeah. I'm tired. So. That's what I like to see. That's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. It's a dirty 20. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> five. I like, well, okay. Kiki got Pass a five. out. I roll so bad. <laughs> yeah, Kiki and I got a five and a one. You get disoriented going into this maze of aisles, um, turning around corners, finding more smashed glass. Um, it quickly becomes a case of you not knowing if you've been in this aisle before, if you've already checked this area as you become disoriented. Scallops Detect Magic is still on, right? Um, I think it is. Ten minutes. Let's find out. Ten minutes. Um, I'm going to say it's just ending, but you get one last little bit um, of glow. Looking in the aisles that you're looking in, however, investigation, you're not finding it. For what Thaddeus finds, what'd you roll? Uh, a net, uh, dirty twenty. That. I would also at this time hand them the scroll while I'm like. <laughs> Absolutely, we're gonna go to a crossroads. So two of them read the scroll, and we're gonna hey, determine the killers are going to determine if Jack, you can send us to a crossroads. Yep, yep. We're gonna determine what Thaddeus finds on the second floor. <gasps> in Lost Tavar. Please do not be alarmed. What do they find on the second floor? A cookbook or a joke book? Uh. <laughs> vote cook or vote joke. I don't even want to play this. Let game. him cook. I just want to. I just want to do my thing. I just mm. want to do my thing. This is literally all I asked for was Below. ancient recipes. Gotta leave it up Rare to the killers. Recipes. I know. I know. Listen, we've got some. We've got some votes for cook. Don't. Don't be scared. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm a little nervous. Nice looking cook. It's, cute. it's looking like you're in the money. Reading this, like, whenever the time's right, I would be looking for scrolls. I'd, on this floor, be looking for a mundane shelf of scrolls. I also <laughs> start calling out Bastion. <laughs> Didn't say, like, call out? And... Yeah, it's like after we go through the door, but I love that for Gigi. <laughs> Killers are looking out for you. Aww. As you search through all of these glass oh cases, <laughs> eventually you find a cabinet, opening it up, pulling out a drawer, opening it up, you find inside various burnt files before reaching into the back and pulling out a thick leather bound book, a tome of sorts. Um, as you read the title <laughs> of it, it That's seems to be <laughs> in a sort of oh, there's still doing it. Um, in this sort of goblin language. Goblin. Looking through, I speak orc. Um, oh, me too. With we orc, talk. you're <laughs> able to pick up on little bits and pieces of yeah. what it's saying. Just get the general. It's in goblin. Just a bit. <gasps> Girl. Mama. Girl. 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 You can't read. Girl. You can't Maybe read. I can read Goblin. I don't know. Um, Common you pull it out, yeah. you gather. Yeah. This is a cookbook. As you open it up, you see sketches of different dishes. <gasps> all sorts. You see it's divided into sections. You got your appetizers, your aperitifs. What you have your main courses. Various mm. fish. Uh, you. Uh, what you <laughs> gather from it is that this is no ordinary cookbook. <laughs> this is a cookbook dating back, predating the kingdom of Galifar itself. 
uh, going back uh, at least over a millennia. This is going to be uh, a for millennium. Us. Uh, this is from the ancient <laughs> Dakani <laughs> Empire of goblins. These are oh recipes God. that extend back into the deepest reaches of history on Eberron. I'm going to start flipping through and memorizing as much as I can, but I'm also going to keep it. Absolutely. I, I, I just come want... and look at while you speak. What do you got there? Um, if you bring it over to the two of them, with the last bit of juice in the Detect Magic scallop, you are able to gather that there is some magic inside of this cookbook before it snaps and you don't detect magic anymore. I look through it. Can I read Goblin? Um, you can pick up on some words. I, You've yeah. memorized some words. I'm voraciously sauce. reading it. Yeah, sauce. It seems pan. to you, as you all, as you pan. collaborate on it, that <laughs> the two of you working together <gasps> might be able to decipher this book. <laughs> I bring the book right here. With some work, probably. Some oh numbers. yeah. Okay. Well, uh, uh, then I'm gonna continue just like looking through the pictures and trying to understand as much as possible. Absolutely. And you keep that safe. Put it in a bag when you're not using it. Um, yeah, I guess I'll. I'm gonna look as much as possible, then put it in the bag the whole day. Okay. Stowing it away. You memorize your mind, racing through the different images of strange concoctions and recipes. The so three of you are gathered. Phylum, you found this map. I run after them. <laughs> Coming down, finding them, hearing them speaking from the second floor. You all gather on the second floor. Um, we should go try and go to whatever, you know? The whatever this says. Yeah. A mundane shelf of scrolls below. So is that on the first floor? Or does it mean below where I you found like this? I feel like it's the first floor. You don't think it literally means like below the desk or whatever? Well, but no, because a mundane set of scrolls. Like... Wait, didn't you... Did your detect magic ping anything? The cookbook for a second. Oh, Just the cookbook. go in here, yeah. Okay. Well... I mean, we gotta Maybe check out every every. There. I think we gotta check out every floor. I mean, we're in an ancient, yeah. historical, famous, iconic library. The first library that ever existed. For sure. Can we go up so to the third floor? Let's go look a little, little everything. Yeah. Can we go up to the third floor? Come up, uh, ascending the stairs into the third floor, where you see these shattered glass boxes, and you see the hallway leading to the office. Um, Gonna search this. Go to make an investigation check for him. Kiki got a dirty twenty. Okay. Gigi got a six. <laughs> like I'd be looking around. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, can know? we all look? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Investigation, right? I also want to look under the desk Natural. where that eye was to see if like <laughs> there's any like the scrolls. I'm busy. <laughs> the scrolls there. Yep. I'm sleepy. Scallop, what'd you get? A two. Very good. I got twelve. Twelve. Uh, Kiki Grape got the nat 20, uh, or dirty 20, I think it was. So we're going to go to a crossroads, see okay. what Kiki finds. What do they find on the third floor? A magic go, scroll Kiki, go, Kiki. or a magic cloak? Ooh. What was the second one? A magic go, scroll go. or a magic both, cloak? If they're both, both on the third floor. <laughs> this is throughout this What are you I'm guys telling... wishing for right now? I can't decide. I know. I think probably the cloak. If it's a cloak of Dimension Door, which... I think oh. very well could be. Or a cloak of awesomeness. Adaptive, yeah. adaptability. Or, or what, a cloak of that fierceness. You can go to the astral planes. It's the one that like Stars casts magic missiles. Everyone yeah. wants the cloak. Great. Everyone wants or, the cloak. I think that's the right Throughout I think this you're time, I'm telling you guys, all of you, I'm saying, you guys, you won't believe it. We gotta go to the continent of dragons. <gasps> what are you what? talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about, sweetie? Totally. I mean, you, yeah, yeah, you can just... We were there. Argonensen. <laughs> Haven't yeah. you heard of it? <laughs> well, the you, realm of dragons. Now. Wow. Why do we need to go there? The great because river. the river Rathandra is at this continent. Is it, like, normal in our world to know anything about a continent other than Colbert? Like, Not a ton, oh. no. Someone like Terrace and James might know. I promise I've heard of it before. Someone well-traveled, but it's something that Argonesson lives in a world of sort of stories that mm. you would tell before We should go down. Yeah, we gotta go down to the fol Girl. folklore level. I we swear. Said, no, 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 it's not a question of me believing you. I was just asking, like, 
Like, I, the information you have is pretty extraordinary. And like, we went on this trip and we said we were gonna go milk life for all it has to offer. And how many baddies can say they've left the continent? Listen, I'm on Team Dragon. Yeah. We're going to get there, and they're going to love us. We're going to make friends. Yeah, just like those uh, dinosaurs liked you the first time you met them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe we bring the dinosaurs. Like, well, I'll think remind Gigi. you, Gigi, <laughs> who are we riding right now? Someone had to make the first. Phylum has a certain reptilian. Oh, yeah. Someone had to make the first vibe for sure. entrance. Baddies did win us the dinosaurs. Yeah, that's but, yeah. true. I can drink you all under the table. What? I don't Do know you think they're gonna be okay thing. out there? The dinosaurs? Yeah. Well, if they're not there when we are there, then we all ride on bonkers. We always have a backup. Oh, that's great. And I'll be honest, yes. they're they're not amber cheddar. They're not like our babies, you know. Pop. Okay, but let's let's keep. So you begin to hear at the end of this conversation. Wow. Uh oh. Kiki found. Oh, Kiki, yeah, the cloak. Coming from around the corner. So you find Kiki Grape pulling on this fabric. Uh, caught in sort of the mouth of a chest. Thank you, Kiki. A locked chest. <laughs> oh. oh. She's pulling I take at out it. Do I have these tools? I have these tools. Oh yeah, will you open this? Yeah, I'm gonna try to open them with these tools. Go ahead and make a dexterity check. If you're proficient, you can add your proficiency to that. Okay. Ah, uh, we love that. Uh, I am proficient in them. Uh, 19, 21. 21. Um, so you get out your lock picking equipment. Why it's open. Leaning in close and hearing the click, it opens. Opening the chest, uh, Kiki immediately <coughs> falls over, doing a backward somersault, oh, <laughs> wrapping herself up in this cloak and kind of trying to escape from it, uh, trapped inside the cloak. the cloak. You kind of brush her out of there, <coughs> falls on the ground as you pick up this uh, cloak that seems to be in good condition, great condition, better condition than uh, any other th items you found in here. Um, Gigi, you should put it on. Looking in the chest, right. you see what is mostly ash. These fully desiccated tomes, books, journals, scrolls. Um, as you look through, these seem to be records, different records of uh, uh, dates and different things. Uh, a collection of research kept in a very secure place. Um, as you parse through it, you find a piece of parchment still intact that seems to be a rough outline of this research project contained here. Um, <gasps> More props! More props! More props. Give it to Ooh, us. Fancy one. I'm not gonna uh, read this off. Eric baked this today. Oh my god, it's long. <laughs> oh, it's I'll just really let you long. know that the war began. The archivists looked through the library for potential magic that could be used in the war. Looking through the high appraiser's journals, uh, they discovered a secret that the key to the lost heart of Sybaris is hidden in his vault. Uh-oh. He hints that the heart resides in Agnosin, the land, the land of dragons. I know of that. I know of that. Sire officials deem it foolhardy to search a whole continent without more specific information. Archivists find another Dakani index of collected fragments of the Draconic prophecy, denoting one fragment alluding to the precise location of the heart of Sybaris. Mm. This feels like what the prophecy said. It was like the key coupled with the information from the Towers of K. I don't mm. think we're going to be able to find it until we find this. Yo, yeah. it does mention the the ship that we were on, the Prophecy. Wait, oh, with the medallion. It said the Ma Her Majesty's ship, the Wager, sent forth with a frag with the fragment of the Prophecy. Yeah. That's so what we that's found. the medallion. Yeah. But Contact is lost. War hampers any attempts to salvage the ship. 
Meanwhile, as it found it possible to gain access to the high appraiser's vault and the key therein, efforts toward finding the lost heart fall to the wayside. Begins partnership with House Conniff on developing a new species of manufactured people. So this is, is like where War, Warforged were created. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot here, y'all. You know well, what? you can't read. Well, I can't read it, but Isabel can read it. I absolutely think the high appraiser, this is the letter we have, the high appraiser, he's telling us where his vault is. We need to find this. That's absolutely the should next we, step. Should I take you to where I found him? Or like where, where yeah, I found the big Yeah, just say below guy? a mundane shelf of scrolls masks the entrance. Yeah, I just want to check under his desk real quick. Yeah. Yeah, we're on that floor. Mm-hmm. We go into I'm the high, the where I, show, I saw the, the big eye. <laughs> yeah. High um, you all look through the office, turning it over, looking under the desk, looking through the cabinets. All seems to be rubble. Okay, down floor to the first two. floor. Well, let's go next floor. Before we go no, there, I'm just going to open the, the cookbook. I'm going to take a cookbook out and see if there's anything in there. Yeah. Um, with this sort of uh, detect magic the last moments from Scallop, determining, yeah. determining that, it seems like something that you would need to attune to. Okay, while they look, I'll just focus on Great. my cookbook for a little bit. Sounds good. Dream Still memorizing it. As you all go down to the second floor, looking through uh, this area again is just sort of a maze of aisles, but not stacks of book, not bookshelves, rather these large cabinets, drawers, and glass cases. Um, looking through uh, this being the place where you found the cookbook, um, nothing else of interest really turns up for you. Mm-hmm. One more floor. Let's go down. Yeah. We're going down. I come down totally to a floor you have not been to before. Yeah, these are all. Here, the stairs meet an enormous round chamber lined with towering shelves along the walls. That's spooky. In the center of this ground floor chamber is a raised platform with large pieces of rubble leaning against it. And between the high shelves, there are five large archways spaced out evenly. All of the archways are filled entirely with enormous pieces of rubble. This is where the stairs end. Start searching around for anything that looks like... I will say, we can look at this further, but there's there's also stuff in here about the Lepidomni. And like basically the, the infection of the dreaming dark, the curses that we have when we sleep... That it's, that it's, there's no other explanation than that, than that the Dreaming Dark has been wielding, is wielding, and will continue to wield some arcane engine of devastating magnitude. Oh. Maybe. So we went downstairs and they've just kind of dead-ended into dirt, is that what you said? The stairs dead-ended into this enormous round chamber, oh. this ground floor. Five large archways branching out from the edges of this chamber, all of them fully caved in. Between the archways are tall bookshelves, uh, most of them cracked and broken, lining the walls. In the center, there seems to be a large pedestal, but rubble is leaning against it, obscuring most of it from view. Does it look like any of them have um, uh, like a spell mundane scrolls? shelf of scrolls? Yeah. Um, looking around, these bookcases seem to have been of some use in the past, but they're broken and full of rubble and ash. Okay, we start clearing, or I say, all right, everybody, start clearing it out. Clear away some rubble. <laughs> like the rubble on the middle pillar? Yeah, definitely yeah. that one. And then on some shelves, I just like right. would start. Go ahead make investigation checks for me. If you I'm going to focus on attuning. To... Very good. Continue to attune. File them if you're helping. You can help with the investigation. What are we doing right now? Finally! Investigating these bookcases. The Dirty yeah, 20. I guess I'm looking specifically for Dakani index of the Draconic prophecy. Okay. It seems like this is exactly what we need. 14. Can you see it? We yes. need yeah. this because searching an entire continent without more specific information sounds. Well, Crazy. that's where we're going in the continent, but right now we need to find... This little guy is, like, hiding here. Yeah. And we have to share a secret to get past the impassable door. Well, it's not... I, we don't even know that he's here. This is his vault, is what this says. The information uh, from his vault. And then he will be waiting, maybe. Well, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I know. Who's I'm not the vault? Way. But the lock... Is it... 
So we're in his vault. Yes, that's yeah. in Ara- that's in Aragonson. But first no, we have to no, get no, here. This is the high appraiser, and he's talking about his vault. Okay, it's here. It's where that's like what we're trying to find right one, now. And then we get through the vault. We get to his vault, or we get not to the vault, but just through the impassable door to the luminate. And my aid on matters regarding the key. Yeah, we're he's trying to like get the key. from the prophecy. It was like the information from the towers of K will help you get the key and whatever. Like we need something from this vault. Right, and but then to go the here. key to the lost heart is hidden in his vault. He hints that the heart resides in Aragonson. Yeah, the heart, but the key is Okay, then we're vault. finding the but key the, here. The key to the lost heart is hidden in his vault. He hints that the heart yes. resides so the vault, in Aragonson. The heart is in Aragonson. The key is here. The key's in the vault here. Mm. And then we're going to take the key. <laughs> it sounds so silly. No, we lost you. We lost you. Uh, okay, I just, I got a 14. Mm. <laughs> 14, 20. Yeah, I got a dirty 20. We're looking for we're a looking basic around. scroll right now. Um, that will let yes. us. We're looking for a hidden door this. I think amongst that's more Yeah, you need um, this. Yet. As you're looking around, <laughs> uh, yeah. Gigi, um, yeah. with a better view, as you're looking around, Gigi, what you see is that this pedestal in the middle catches your eye. Looking underneath the rubble that's on top of it, you see this scale model of towers. Um, mm. These beautiful, ornate towers. Um, there being six of them, one in the center and five around it. Um, as you see Kind of like the room this room. structure. Um, Scallop, with your 20 looking around, 20 investigation. The walls are lined with these broken bookcases. It's chaos looking around until you see one bookcase fully broken on its side is half covering the bookcase behind it against the wall. And that bookcase is entirely strange for one reason. It looks intact. Yeah, I follow over. Yeah, I'll follow. Still kind of looking at my book, though. Looking over to where Scallop has spotted something. Scallop, you clamber over this broken bookcase to reach the bookcase behind it reaching out to touch it. Your hands. I'm scared. Oh. Passes through. Oh. I'm diving in. Diving in. Duck your head. Duck your head. It's a dip your head. Dive in. I'm dipping my this. head. Diving oh, through your vision is obscured entirely by this bookcase before emerging. I follow her too. I follow, yeah. All of you okay. emerging. Come on, Fai. Behind you. To where you see lit by your torches in the light of the shield, a darkened hallway leading to a tall door made of a strong material, seemingly adamantine, on top of which is a glowing room. All of you make history checks for me. I'm not really well today. I'm just gonna say that out loud. I'm happy. Four. I love that for you. Oh my God, I rolled a 20 and a one. (gasps) That's awesome. So it's a one. So I fucked up. <laughs> Thaddeus? 18. 18. 15. Thaddeus, will you gather? Uh, immediately clocks for you. This is Siren. Uh, an arcane, archaic version of the Siren sort of ancient runic language. Yeah. Um, if you were to roughly translate this, it would be Whisper. Whisper? Whisper. Does it say anything about Whisper in there? Well, it says we have to share any secret knowledge to pass the impassable door. Do you have any secret knowledge? I do. Well, it sounds like you should whisper it. Can I see it? (laughs) Yeah, whisper. Let me read. Below a mundane shelf of scrolls. I'll say, one time when my friend Sally um, (laughs) gave me uh, her lucky penny, I told her I lost it, but I had it. Whisper. I still have it. I also have a secret. I don't know if it works. My grandmother used to sing me a song um, when I was constipated. And I have it. <laughs> I and can't I, imagine that after what happened on the tower. Well, listen, <laughs> it was a different time. I think that the reason I, I have such explosive farts and burps is because I'm always backed up. 
I have this, <laughs> I have the song if you want me to sing it. Yeah, of course. Whisper sing. Cabbage soup, it makes you poop. Cabbage soup, it makes you poop. One stick of butter and other pot oil. Onions and garlic cover in foil. Put it in the oven with some chicken stock. Constipation is a big ol' cock. Take it out, <laughs> spice it up. Salt and pepper and then a taste. Slug it down, then eat some bread. Oh, it's just like Wait for hours and you'll be fed. You'll be pooping in no time. Your bowels are free. What is but this? ask me about my best beet soup if you can't pee. That immense hind doors in front of you with a deafening boom. I'm so embarrassed. Split you know, in this half. Is the best. We all, I think, come for you. Revealing the oh. hall in front oh of you. Yes. That was absolutely amazing, Thaddeus. I don't, don't oh. ever, ever tell anybody that was like as cool like uh, Amy or anybody that I sing that song in front of you guys. No, really, that was really cool. And look, it had a lot of magical power. It's going to be our war chant, I think. <laughs> Cabbage <laughs> soup. Door. Make some food. <laughs> That's all I got. Wow. The door splits open, sliding across the floor, revealing the end of this hallway and a small hole in the floor with a sleek metal ladder descending down below. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So stupid. Yeah, we go down the ladder. Yeah. Totally, totally, yeah. totally. Yeah. Yeah. Also, have I attuned to this cookbook? At- yeah, I'm no, also looking no. at this cloak, and I'm trying to attune to it. Okay. I'm sensing it's got powers. Absolutely, you both continue to attune to it as you descend this <laughs> ladder. And you find yourselves in a hallway down below. A couple dozen feet below the ground floor. A hallway made up of slick black stone almost appearing wet to the touch though there is no moisture along the walls and the floors and ceilings are lines of soft blue and white light they seemingly converge and disconnect in a vein like pattern cool running along the hall to where it opens into an enormous circular chamber, more bare than those above. This circular chamber has six different arches along the side of it. Above each archway, you see a carving carving of a different head over each. Over one is the head of a crane. Over one other is the head of a tabaxi. Over another is the head of an owl. Head of a rabbit. Mm. Head of an elephant. And the head of a lion. And in the center of this chamber is a basin about five feet in diameter standing atop of a low pedestal made of black stone and in the basin is liquid. The dark water. Dip your heads together and be not afraid. Mm-hmm. With <laughs> seemingly soft steam or fog sort of tracing out of it. I look at you guys and I say, well, should we take a little dip? Gather around it. Cabbage soup <laughs> makes you poop. Cabbage soup. It uh, makes you poop all right. <laughs> the sound of the water bubbling up past your ears as you all for at once <laughs> dip your heads into the basin. You can hear the water moving around you. As your vision goes dark, it feels as though your bodies tip over. Oh. Submerge completely into the water. 
as the four of you feel yourselves diving into this pool. Before pulling your heads out. And you find yourselves at this basin in this large circular chamber. But the first thing you notice that's different is the lights, globes of light dancing around the room. And the fact that there's a lot of people here. Uh oh. Oh, God. Looking around, the way that there were cracks in the walls, the way that there was rubble falling off, it's no longer the case. Mm. You find yourselves like in a pristine version of this chamber that you were in, and you find all sorts of different people milling about, speaking to each other, uh, sharing documents in the space, uh, reading things to each other. As you look around <gasps> at each other, the resistance. as you look around at each mm. other, you find that the four of you are no longer wearing or carrying any of the things that you were wearing or carrying before. Oh. You are wearing robes of a completely ancient mm. mode. And as you look at yourselves, you see that you are nearly translucent with a slight strange glow to your skin. And as you look around, you see wearing a long coat and archaic clothing is a tall figure, fur covering his body, the head and mane of a lion. As he looks over to you, says, Ah! We have visitors. Welcome, friends. I'm gonna pick up there next time. I'm gonna find that character. Yeah. <laughs> Roll on the hot die. Roll on hot die. Roll Wait, can we roll on hot die real quick? For this guy? Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Yeah, I think it just... Roll with advantage for this okay. guy. Because he's extra hot. Jordan's hurting to have, yeah, to have Yeah, to have a romance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always looking for one. It's a, it's a nine. It's a n- nine out of ten. Yeah. This much is a strapping, tall, <laughs> strapping lion, lion man. Okay. Or, uh, yes, lion man. Uh, with that... Pick up there Thanks, next time. You. Thank you guys for joining us. Woo! Thanks for paving our path Thank ahead of us you. as we walk, yeah, figuring out real. what we're finding and doing. Oh, uh, love, oh you guys. Gosh, uh, love you guys. Thanks to the Atkinsons for yeah. <laughs> sitting through this whole session. <laughs> uh, we appreciate it. Um, and hey, uh, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Love see you guys. next week. So love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.